We're just going to get settled here and then we'll jump right in. Because uh, Brian's bring, so what Brian's going to do, I'll oh, give you a little fill in detail. Steven, it works. Oh, excellent. Okay. Oh. That's awesome. When did that happen? Well, right now, apparently. Right now, apparently. Right now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So what we're going to do, how we're going to do this okay. is uh, just rip the Band-Aid off and go right to using the online interface uh, for the Rory's, which also provides the SIP request form information in a little bit different format than we're accustomed to. So if you log in to your, uh, to the site, is everyone, has anyone not got a tablet? Or does anyone need the... Uh, oh, I see. You go to my Rory. Yeah. Does anyone need the um, the site information? It should have been in the... It was in the email that I sent with the... So it's, NAC, it's NantucketCapitalRequest.org. Do you guys have another chair? Hey, now. Uh, You're welcome. I gotta, uh, I'm at Fenway and standing on the hallway. Do you know the uh, Wi-Fi in your house? Oh, it used to be Mark, what's the Wi-Fi? Something, but... Uh, I'm on the Nantucket. You've got to ask. Maybe Denise knows. What do I know? The Wi-Fi. Oh, it's... Um, I used to write it up there. I think she knows. W-W-C and then the O is the zero. The O is a zero. Yeah, son. It's Patrick's. I love this. He's going to go with my keys. None of us can remember it because it's so weird. Help you? Yeah. Not really. I just okay. changed it. We have not. Thank you so much. Got it? Yeah. Okay. This is like Thanksgiving dinner at my family, except for it's a little it's quieter. Weird. It's a little quieter. It's a little quieter? Here. Yeah. Can't imagine that. <laughs> Where are we at here, algorithm man? All right, so uh, punch in uh, NantucketCapitalRequest.org to your browser uh, web address. Just type it in. Like. Yeah, just type it in as NantucketCapitalRequest.org. NantucketCapitalRequest.org. And then once we're all in, we're going to walk through uh, on the big screen. Request or requests with an Request. S. One okay. singular okay. dot org. Okay. All right. And then when it comes up, you're going to log in with your uh, email address and the password Brian sent you, if you remember it. Uh, Hopefully. <laughs> were they sequential? Is it the same password for everybody? No, 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 no. They were sequential. So you, hold on. I have everybody's except for Nat. Oh, <laughs> so Nat, yeah. try okay. Capital Program 2 with a capital C. Capital, all small letters? Oh, capital, capital C, okay. Capital C. Capital Program. Um, Jason is, everyone else? I'm already in. I'm good. Okay. Program 2? Yeah. Steamship stuff. Ridiculous. All right, and press go. Yes. The email address or password you specify in correct. So I'm doing that little Comcast because I don't have. Sure. That's fine. That, oh, you okay. use your so, email. So try capital program with a capital C three now, and just keep going until you get in. Oh, okay. No spaces. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. Capital program one two three four five one up whatever. Yeah. So you well Peter you're. Okay. No. Peter is CAP program, oh. capital C, CAP program 2. CAP program Just CAP? Two. No, not you. Is it CAP or capital? CAP. Mine you, is CAP. You, you, yours is capital and Nat's is capital. I forgot what I made okay. yours there, so I start. I made I'm yours. I'm a CAP. Mine's CAP. Yeah. I'm a CAP. Two? Yeah. Do you, do you know what email it is? Is it the Cape Cod 5 or the Gmail? It is ptkaiser at gmail.com. Yeah. Great. You see why we didn't do this on a DPW day? <laughs> Hold on now, I can probably reset you. Yeah, I'm sorry there. Why? No, it's fine. Just keep keep yeah, okay. trying. You'll get there. Beautiful. You'll get there. It's you. It is because it's me. <laughs> Once you say it, you can't go in and change it. I feel like it is. I can't. They're going to fix that because up until this morning, you actually couldn't even enter it. Oh, okay. So it was kind of I just say that. That's just for me. You see what won't work. It's probably oh, pretty see. close to what I'm going to do anyway, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, if it isn't, it is, right? What, Nat, what is your name? <laughs> <laughs>
Comcast.net. Uh, Did you have access to your email? Net. Yeah. Net. Net. Oh, net. Yeah. So do you, you guys access to your email now? Do you want? I'll yeah. just do a real quick while he's doing this. If you're on your page, oh, you were gonna, and you okay. click on Rory's in the upper type right. In Brian Turbot, no, I'll I'll find typing you. in your. It will take you to an interface you can actually use. If you keep, if you, if instead you go back up and you click Capital Request, this is an interface that's not just send live for us yet. But we're going to work on. So the Rory's will give you a list of projects. Um, I didn't know you were going to get a show it today. It currently <laughs> shows projects that are both past projects and future projects, but it will be revised to just show the current fiscal year projects because those are the only ones we're doing Rory's on. So, for instance, I don't know what, if you click on title to sort it, you can click on the, the column headings to sort title and code. Um, if I sort alphabetically, my, the first one I get is uh, facility flooring replacement. That was a request last year. So the information from the request is in the system. Um, so you know that, but it's not one we're going to be ranking. The first one we're going to be doing is further down the list, which is replace ceiling tile. Does everyone see that? Yep. All right, hold on. <coughs> All right, so change password. So if you click on replace ceiling tile, now we'll do this again. The inter does, did everyone do that? Yep. Okay, great. So uh, on the left-hand side in the uh, column it, under introduction, these are the breakdowns of different portions of the SIP request form. So for instance, if you click on classification, it will give you the type and the nature of the request. If you click on prioritization, it will give you the information from the SIP request form with respect to priority. No, no, I know. I'm just, just who's here, because we're going to do it anyway. I'm just trying to, like, unless we want to talk about golf or so. I don't golf anymore. But, you know. uh, Christy, if you could uh, possibly, do you bring a tablet? No, Okay, so you can follow on. Yes, sir. So I'm in the replace ceiling. Tile. I have... It, mm -hmm. I don't know if it matters if it's. I have lowercase p, lowercase t, so I'll try that. We can do crosstalk. We're, this yeah. is this portion of the meeting. We're going to do I'm it until they get to the cat, And then your cap program too. Prioritization. C A P P R O G. Just look at that. P C A P P R O G R A M. Yeah. Did it work? Right. Let me try without the capitals. No. I see two. But the password is capital C. A P P R O G R A. No capital P. Right. No. It doesn't Just support it. One cap plan. Yeah. Right. Challenged person. Yeah. Okay. I mean, no, 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 no. results in lower yes, operations sir. and maintenance costs. Mm -hmm. No. Not. So th so these are Does what that, you get Brent had okay. input. Okay. okay. And then if we have a question. When this, the, we'll be able to, just like when we have the paper in front of us, we'll just be able to ask, well, okay. you're presenting the ceiling, uh, replace the ceiling tile, why is it not <clears throat> results in lower operations and maintenance costs? Yeah. And he may, and then he can give us an, an example of why. Um, I do, I'm wondering. Uh, it also says yeah. supplemental documents attached. Well, that's one of the critical one. So you can click on attached documents underneath it. Sometimes the, it, it doesn't matter what, as long as it says no documents attached, there's something to click and then you'll get the backup detail. Cool. Um, and Brian will talk about uh, making sure that those are always a PDF so you don't have to have Word or Excel oh, yeah, I'm sorry. on your tablet if you're not on a, a laptop. This is what I was looking for. So then that gives you the information and you can do this all from the comfort of your home. Yeah, this is nice. Um, there's a bunch of things we're work we're going to work out. If you have spare time during your work day, right? <laughs> on improvements, yeah, or just easier fixes. It'll be easier for me. Okay, so um, Nat, are you logged in? I am, but I don't know if you have to. You don't need to do anything. Oh, good. Go to the upper right hand. You're doing it. Go to the upper right hand corner. Yeah. In the top margin, click Rory's. Got it. And again, we're just going to kind of go through now. S sift through that list, Nat, to uh, replace ceiling tile. And then click on the text, replace ceiling tile. Okay. I'm going to go to my. Oh, there we go. Oh, all right. 
So now what you're in is a digital version of the SIP request form that's broken down by the list to the left. So if you click on under introduction classification, yeah. you'll get the classification by type and nature. And we're going to go through these in detail. I just want to run you through everybody really quickly once. If you click again on prioritization, it will give you the priority as determined by the department head. You can click on costs and funding. It'll give you the source of the quote and the estimate, anticipated useful life, average hours per day, so on and so forth. You can scroll down and it will give you information submitted by the department on the costs that are related by fiscal year and uh, net effect on operating budget and so on and so forth. Delivery, same thing. Information that was included, uh, information fields that were included in the SIP request form that are then filled in by the department head. The only one I, other one I'm going to do just because it's a little different than the rest and then we'll jump back in to just having uh, the presentation start by Ireland Home is click on supplemental documents in the left. Mm -hmm. You see it? Mm -hmm. Do you click it? Yep. Okay. And then you see where it says attached documents? Yes. Okay. Click that. Okay. And then you should get a, something that says open as or download or it should just open as a PDF. Just mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's the okay, so just so you see that on supplemental documents, that's where you'll find the backup details. So if David came in, uh, David Gray came in with a new truck, that's where you'd find the information or any other uh, example of a department. No, I'll make sure they're PDFs. I didn't even. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, it's totally I'll cool. make sure they're PDFs from yeah. now on. And then if we need it, someone wants to request an Excel, yeah. Yeah. It's, if it's native in the system, we can access yes. that too. Yeah, that's fine. That's great. Okay, so um, guys, that's just kind of just a quick. Uh, let me just run through a couple things. On the top, on the upper portion of margin capital request, if you click on that, uh, it's just going to take you to a link that we don't have interface ability with yet. If you click on the left hand margin, add notes, it you'll have no functionality because that's not part of how we're setting this up. So there's some cleanup or changes to make. And if you click back to my CRFs, which is back to my capital request forms, it will take you back to the capital request window. And to get back to this one, you need to go to Rory's and then select. So better off just not to press any of those buttons yet. Um, feel free to explore, but just so you have an idea. Okay. With that being said, we're going to start uh, once again with Ireland Home. Thanks for being here. Uh, we have the replaced ceiling tile. Um, and before we start that, actually, we, as I mentioned in my email, uh, the Ireland Home Facility will be a review that we're doing for the upcoming fiscal year with a recommendation. However, we're, that, that review will be at a later supplemental meeting pending additional information that needs to come in for us to actually be able to do the review once in full. Um, third or fifth time is the, is the charm, so it's to you. Okay, so the ceiling tile project that I put in for is, is more of a cosmetic and aesthetics type of thing. Um, the <coughs> tracking, the, the tracking that supports it is as old as the building itself and it's starting to show signs of rust. Not structural rust to the point where it's not supportive of the ceiling tiles or anything, but again, aesthetics. Um, and the ceiling tiles have been there for a long time and they're starting to get that yellow tinge to them. None of them are industry repair to the point where there's holes and it, and it violates any fire codes as far as smoke barrier or anything like that. Um, but it's, again, it's just a, a, a lower level as far as importance, but it still is an aesthetic thing that, that would improve the appearance. Okay. Um. So which estimate Go are we going with? Well, the, here's the thing. We plugged in $90,000 as the cost. With the quotes uh, that we got, uh, like an online quoting setup, it gives a range. Um, the only thing that this doesn't cover is prevailing wage. Um, so by picking the, like, the, the 90000 which would be towards the higher end, I'm hoping that will. It does take into account a, 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 a range of uh, labor based on the zip code. Um, so I, I don't know the particulars and how they calculate it, but I know it doesn't include prevailing wage, so automatically just go to the high end of that. That way we're protected 
in case that drives the price up. Um, you know, the high and low end of the. Oh, go ahead. Do you have confidence in this estimating tool? Uh, other than the prevail, what, how, what the prevailing wage piece would be for the cost of the materials and everything, yeah, that's that's pretty secure because they they do this pulls. This is actually used by a lot of contractors, but they um, they pull prices from the bearing, and, you know, based on like the ceiling tiles. I believe the ones we pulled out was like an Armstrong 942 acoustical tile, which is widely used. And you've used this before? No, this is the first time I've used this because this is the first time I've had to do a ceiling tile piece. Peter? Uh, Brett, as an operator, do you have a maintenance person on staff? Yes. So if, if you're structurally fine and it's just aesthetics that you're addressing, what would be the problem if we were just to spend twenty thousand dollars in ceilings and use the grid that's there and just go around and, and just pop in tile? To me, it's it's more the the feeling because right? we're not sure what's going to happen with the building. And if you oh no, aesthetic understand. is that important? I would I'd say do it for twenty, take it off the capital request, and put it in operations. Yeah, we could blunt. Yeah, we, no, no, I I get it. I, actually, you know what? Any of these capital things that we come up with for 2020, 2021. We had a similar discussion about the flooring thing last year. You know, about, you know, not knowing where we're at with a new building. Any amount of, any decent size amount of money we're gonna spend is, you know, what if, you know, we spend this money and then, hey, it comes up for a vote for a new building next ATM and it gets passed. When I look at it as if we have good employees, use the employees we have because that's our largest expense operating sure. from a financial perspective. <coughs> and when we hire outsource, all we're doing is feeding the open market of contractors who are profiting. Yeah. So if it's aesthetics, you know, my, my gut tells me I probably wouldn't spend a nickel because that's not a good conversation to have. But if you really do feel that it's necessary for... Um, well, under the premise that... What if the building, you know, doesn't go any further? At least for now, I have to think of the year to year, assuming yeah. that we're going to be in the same spot. Mm -hmm. you know, typically, the grid, a a typically the grid system is is of a metal. You can also electrostatically paint if you wanted to. Yeah. The labor in this project is is labor. Yeah. It's taking a grid down to put it back up. Yeah, installing the tiles themselves is probably the lower end of the labor. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's, that's just me. No, no, that's that, 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 and that's a valid point. Like I said, I. I I was just thinking about bigger, bigger things because it's it doesn't cover the entire building. We're twenty three thousand square feet, but almost a third of it isn't isn't um, the suspended ceiling. It's just the regular sheetrock ceilings. Yeah. Like in every room, the entryway where the light is is the suspended. Then it goes up higher, and it's not a suspended fixed. ceiling. So it's basically the hallways and the entryways to the to the resident rooms. Still about sixteen thousand square feet, but. A valid point, and we could always look at that. I mean, even from an operation standpoint, finding twenty thousand dollars might be a stretch. But we could even do it piecemeal, you know, do a wing at a time, yeah. and f spread it out over a longer period of time. But just uh, do something like that. Uh, Brett, that Peter, were you? Good? So, I, just as a follow up to that, I mean, I have a similar concern with respect to the future of the facility. And on one hand, you know. I'm, it's a wrestling match in my own mind, competing thoughts in terms of what do we do, what do we not do, and um, a part of that uh, equation is certainly what's going to happen uh, with what's proposed and what gets, what if anything gets advanced and voted. Um, but along the lines of what Peter was saying in terms of efficiency, utilizing existing staff and maybe keeping it under, a, out of a capital request, just simply if it doesn't have to be. Are there areas that maybe if you were to phase this, anticipating you're going to be in the building for four or five more years, uh, that are in maybe disrepair is too strong a word, but are there, there, would you prioritize this and maybe in that way be able to accomplish it without taking a big bite out of operating but still start to get stuff done? Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. Especially for the ceiling tiles, that, that could be. If, if we wanted to try to stay away from utilizing capital dollars, we could yeah. do it. It would just take a lot longer. Yeah. You know, to be able to work it into operations, it wouldn't be something that we could do in a quarter or two. We might have to spread it out over a year and a half and buy five bundles, ten bundles at a time, install them, and basically just work your way down. And then a follow-up to that is, on a, you know, it's an older structure. It, I know it's masonry. However, you've got ceiling joints, uh, materials joining, so you're going to have air leakage. 
do you know, have you had an assessment done or would you be looking at an assessment? Air, air leakage is where you're going to get most of your <clears throat> loss of comfort in a building and then your energy costs increase. Uh, really not air leakage, drafts and uh, pressure differentials. So I guess what I'm asking is while the ceiling tiles are out, if it were to be a large area or an area that was large enough to do any additional work, I would suggest just taking a look to see, do you have any type of additional work that could be done, relatively short dollars, uh, while the tile is out versus having to go back at a later date if the building is retained and having to do the work and then in essence pay to remove the ceiling tiles and replace the ceiling tiles, maybe not with new, but having to do the labor two times. Right. Well, um, as of right now, we haven't identified, I mean, the other thing that's up above the ceiling yeah. that we've identified is the sprinkler, which is the other, the one on the docket to discuss today, okay. which is a little bit more critical because of issues we've run into. <clears throat> But even that wouldn't really have any purpose for the ceiling tile. And the thing is, is that if we if we phase the ceiling tiles over time and we'll run it through operations in that respect, it can be a. It, it's not even going to be a systematic thing that that there's going to be a lot of exposure. I mean, for the tracking, if we were going to, you know, sand paint whatever, we could do that while the old ceiling tiles are in like a section at a time. Yeah then pop the ceiling tiles out so we don't have to worry about a lot of added labor of taping off to prevent edging, stuff like that. Who cares if the old tiles get the paint on them because we're going to be taking them out right after it dries. Yeah. Uh, and then replacing them like a section at a time. So literally it would be one tile at a time as they replace them. So um, that makes sense to me. I would just suggest that uh, when you, you may want to schedule just, again, I'm looking at the usefulness of the facility and if it stays and it's no cost, Mass Save will do a commercial uh, uh, evaluation of a commercial building. Uh, it's sponsored by uh, NGRID and Nantucket Energy National Grid. So if you were to contact them and they were to look in like around the perimeter, they would basically just kind of come in and I'm presuming there are areas here where you have ceiling tile that there's roof above it and it's perimeter. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And those are the locations they could look at and they could say, hey, you know what, you could do this, this and this. And some of those services are actually even free, but they would contain your utility bill. Um, I don't think it's enough to pay for the ceiling tile, but uh, there would be there might be some cost savings there. Just so you're aware of it, if you're not, uh, sure. the, the Mass Save program is not really promoted commercially a lot here on the island. It's not that it's not promoted; it's not it's that it's not used. Uh, Jason, I think it's a good compromise will be the road up, regardless of whatever happens going that direction of just replacing ceiling tiles over the next year. It makes more sense with the big unknown out there. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I've already done my Rory. You ready to roll? Satan. Any other questions or comments from anyone? Is, is there any part of the grid that is, is in need of repair? Or is <coughs> it strictly all tiles? Um, well, the problem Other is, than is the that rest. W when tiles, because of the age of the tiles, they're starting to get a little bit uh, discolored just from j just yeah. being out there. Then when we have one that does get a puncture in it or if there was a, a minimum leak and it gets a stain, we would replace that. Now you have a white tile and then all the other ones are yellow. So to replace it also just for continuity you know, purposes. So, so it's, uh, uh, again, a, an aesthetic thing. but. Still, we have to take that into account too. That's but aesthetics would rank lower on the priority list. The integrity obviously. of the framework is intact. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, any other questions or comments? Okay, great. So we'll uh, move to sprinkler system, please. Okay. So uh, if you haven't figured out, just to say, uh, go back up to uh, my click my Rory or Rory's rather in the top right and then find sprinkler. Brian, I'm still getting duplicates. Um, you may be getting duplicates and Nat might get duplicates because you were in before all the projects and they just pushed out the Rory's to everyone again. Gotcha. So that might be why the two of you have duplicates. I don't think anyone else has duplicates, do they? Jason, you don't have, dupl you don't have two yep. sprinkler systems in there, do you? I had two, one duplicate of water main replacement. Okay, so, but those are two different years, so I think that that, I believe. Um, yeah, he's got eight entries, I've got 19. Okay, so yeah. I okay. think it's because you were in be beforehand and they pushed them out to all cap capital program again. No worries. I'll find a way to get half of them removed for you. 
Okay, so uh, sprinkler systems and Go ahead, Brent. Okay, so uh, the sprinkler system, the, the replacement of 300 foot of, of main piping for the sprinkler system is a little bit more critical. Um, as you, you may or may not know, we have a dry sprinkler system, so it's pressurized. And through normal testing, um, they would uh, fill the lines every every six months when they do the sprinkler, the full, full on sprinkler testing. What's happened over time, and, and again, because of the age of the pipes that they want, now, nowadays the standard is galvanized, so they're going to put galvanized in replace, but they weren't galvanized, uh, and we've got a couple of areas where water had settled at, uh, at connections or, or pipes, and we've noticed that it deteriorates the pipe over time, and we've had twice where we've gotten fire alarms uh, over the last year where the there's been a, a like a pinhole leak that started to de depressurize the lines. Once they get to a certain level, the alarm will sound right away if it goes below a certain level. But then if it goes below a secondary level, the, the pipes uh, flood with water and could trip the sprinkler system, which would be a disaster, to say the least. Um, and instead of trying to determine, because of the age, you, you, you really don't know where you're going to lie with the next time it happens. It could go to that extent. Both times, because I live right down the street and Ed lives right down the street, when the alarm is tripped, they immediately let us know we were there within five minutes and shut the water off just in case. Then we can locate where the where the leak is, have them come in, fix the piping, that section. Not um, that easy. You have to use. What's that? They use and uh, those clamp things now. Correct. They're not cutting and threading. They're putting unions in. No, it'd still be no. there. Right. So, um, so yeah, so they, they've come in and replaced sections, six foot sections, eight, eight foot sections as needed. But knowing that, that it's happened twice in the last year, the pipes are getting to the age where we would want to look at replacing all of them to prevent a bigger issue if it, the next time it trips, it's big enough to drop the pressure fast enough that we can't get there in time to shut the water off. Okay. And then if a sprinkler head trips, it could you know, have a flood issue, and, and now we've got a, bit, a lot bigger problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Richard, please. Um, I see there's, in the bid, there's no dollars associated with opening, closing, hmm. patching, painting yeah. sheetrock ceilings. Yeah. Is that because it's in the attic and there will be? Yeah, they have access. They can go up in the attic and gain access. Either that or, or if they needed to, they also could gain it through the drop ceiling in the hallways. So there won't be any opening or? Yeah, we don't, we don't anticipate any. Unless, unless when they, when they're, Doing it, and again, one of the things that's quoted on here is as they're replacing it, if they notice the problem with maybe a sprinkler head that feeds through sheetrock, <clears throat> even then, the sprinkler heads are threaded up in the ceiling, so they could just unthread it, put a new one in, without having to, uh, with, you know, all we'd have to do is then just close up the escutcheon afterwards, but it shouldn't pose any problems with sheetrock or anything like that. Mm -hmm. okay. It's just because they have to work around all the things that are up in the ceiling, it's not going to be like a one day job, It'll, they'll spread it out over time. You got in priorities an imminent threat, public safety. Yeah, only because of the, the threat of the next time we have a, a section that punches a hole in it. Again, the last two times they were relatively minor holes and it didn't drop the pressure. Our our pressurized system was able to keep up with it so it didn't drop, but if the next time it's a bigger hole, it could drop fast enough that it could trigger the water to flow, which could you know, so I don't want to put it on, uh, put it too far on the back burner because of the potential. Which happen. would make it inoperable, or it would just shoot it off. And no, it just shoot it off, and then cause more damage because of the water damage, damage and everything like that. Okay. Right, 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 right. I mean, obviously, though, it, it's, the system would be operational still, but I mean, again, the, the potential water damage and, and displacement of residents, given how bad it is. I mean, even if the water displaced, we could get there, and the fire department would get there fairly quick and shut the sprinkler system down, knowing that that was the trigger. But you know, how much water is going to come up? Would it be one sprinkler head that would trip all of them? That's an unknown. Okay. Uh, Peter, then uh, Christy. Just because it is a, a dry <clears throat> system, is there areas where there's pipes that are unconditioned, where there's no heat? Is that the reason for it to be dry? No, no, no. It's just because when they when they do flood the lines, maybe the pitch of the pipes and stuff, they they it had little water settlings in there, and the pipes just deteriorate over time. Yeah, that's, that's my question. No. That wasn't my question. Uh, my question is, is it a dry system because there's piping in unconditioned spaces today? Is that the reason why it was fabricated that way? Dry system. Honestly, I'm I'm not sure why it was fabricated that way as a dry system. It has been for a long time. 
So why are we just focused on the 300 foot of pipe? Do, does that do any drip tests? Does he drain the system occasionally on the low points? Do you take it offline? Yeah, so after, you, after, well that's the thing is, yeah, when, when they do the testing, when they fill it, then they drain it afterwards. Okay. But we've had problems with still moisture in there that has deteriorated the pipes. And on this, the, the quote, I don't see a fire watch because when you take it offline, you have the fire department standing there. You right. Do it and that's, it, right, and that's the only cost that it, it is an unknown depending on the length of time it would take them. In their quote, they said that's not part of that quote. Correct. My only fear is it, it's de minimis in comparison to the size of the building of $70,000 not to spend on a system that's people don't put them in anymore. Right. Um, my only fear is you, you start monkey around with. That yeah, could cost a lot mm -hmm. further. And it just could go right through your building. Yeah. That's just my, that's my concern. Having been there and replaced a complete uh, dry system in a 25,000 square foot building. You have to get the checkbook ready. <laughs> yeah. And they, they were very particular about putting you do. It. I mean, that's, that's a life safety issue. That's paramount, period. Mm -hmm. Even if we're ripping it out in two years. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Walking thing. I can't get that years. out of my head. Yeah. Well, and, and, and again, I mean, the, and, and that's, yeah, right. I mean, and that's, that, that any time we're going to discuss capital money being spent, it's, it, everything is going to be revolving around. Yeah, if, you're, if the whole building you're in an unenviable position on that one, and you will be, I think, for a little while longer, at least. Just make the sale and tile look like that outside. But I think the, the life safety issue yeah. and also the cost to remediate uh, and the comfort and so on and so forth, if it does trigger, which... I mean, I'm not, I don't know what the percentages of likelihood are, but it, it's a higher percentage of likelihood than it would be if this wasn't going on, if you didn't have deterioration, if you didn't have pressure drop. So it seems to me that it's something that needs to be done, and uh, that's my personal thoughts yeah. on it. Who does the annual test now? Uh, I'm sorry, Christy. You that's had not, just okay. Christy? Christy? Um, I'm just surprised that the, if there's an internal issue within the system, instead of... Um, blowing it out throughout the building, it doesn't just shut it down and isolate it. Well, unfortunately, the way it's set up is when once it hits a certain low pressure, that they, they anticipate that that's because a sprinkle ahead has gone, off. has gone off. Fire. You know, it's all based on the pressure. So think, yeah, exactly. It's it's not set up to worry about losses of pressure due to like a, a, mm -hmm. a break in the pipe like that. It's, it's set up to sprinkle ahead triggers. It, it blows, the pressure comes out there, system's flooded, sprinkler goes. Mm -hmm. Problem is, is that that type of pressure filling it when there's no outlet for the water could cause multiple heads to blow when it goes through otherwise. It's a um, train. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It'd, it'd be a catastrophic failure right. of the system. You know, and, and, and that remains to be seen. It might only be with that pressure one or two or three heads blow. It could be 10, it but could wouldn't, be 15. Wouldn't the system detect that it's a, sh that it's a, a, a head and not uh, a, lo a run? No. No, pure mechanics. It, it's yeah. dumb. Yeah, there's no uh, electronic Sensors. control. I mean, Correct. I presume from yeah, the no, age no, it's, it's, it yeah. runs just off PSI. Yeah. So once that goes and it starts to drop, once Got it gets, it. you know, yeah. once it starts to drop, uh, I believe below 90, it triggers the alarm, and then once it goes below a secondary level, yeah. that's when the water floods. You know, so because we've all, we've actually we actually had three times that it was a problem. The third time was a sprinkler headwind, but. Again, same thing, it triggered. We got an immediate call saying there's air blowing out of one of these things and we were able to get there. And it, because the other two yeah. things had happened, I didn't even go to check it out. I went right to it and shut the sprinkler off. You knew it was the water flow, yeah. right? <coughs> I mean, so now when we get the call, if we know it's not a fire and it's something like that, I go right to the boiler room and shut the water down first and then I'll go inspect what the problem is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Jason, then Richard, and then I'd like to wrap it up. I think this is uh, comparing it to our last uh, ceiling tiles. This is a little different. There's no, there's really no compromise here like there was, you know. Yeah. But there's a huge gamble where it could be like get out of your checkbook, but it's not aesthetics. It's, uh, it's people are living there. Yeah, it's a life safety of uh, and mm -hmm. I really preventative kind of problem. Want us to, I really would like us to not think about. Well, we could be rebuilt new building in three years. When it comes to life, when it comes to public safety issues, I don't right? Know, yeah, we can't put that on hold if it doesn't happen. Yeah, it's and. and move forward and that that was you know that's my thought with all of the things that come up year to year with capital I mean I, I it's great that we're entertaining a new building and I definitely think it's needed and hope it goes through but I have to prepare worst case scenario that 
if it's going to be delayed or doesn't go through, I got to start thinking about how we can function within the existing building year to year okay. and keep that up. Richard, so my, my question is, um, is this a sufficient enough threat that you can't wait for the approval process? Can you wait the time to get through the approval process? Um, well, it's, again, that's a gamble because it's happened twice now that we've had to replace smaller sections of the pipe, which, which is what triggered me to think we need to look at this and get this done on, on all told. God forbid a bigger issue comes up. Yeah. You know. So is there an emergency mechanism? I'm sure there is within the town to yeah. take care of something like this. It's not behind the project. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, I think it would have to be, a, if the, Brian, if this were to come up as an emergency matter at a later date due to a failure of the, of the system or a more likely failure of the system, they would need to go to maybe the finance department for a transfer or something? Don't they have a fund that's already been spent already for the fiscal year coming up? Um, well, they have the reserve fund. How would this be addressed if, if this were identified later? <coughs> We'd pay it and figure it out. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I'd be bold enough to make that motion because if I were in your shoes, that's what I would say right now. We wouldn't even hit the paper. Yeah. And, and this didn't come up in like for last year or the year before because we didn't have any problems. We didn't know that based on where the water was laying or things like that, that we would need to look at a bigger fix. I mean, now that it's triggered twice, I'm like, I don't want to wait. You know? <laughs> that's what I look at it. You would put on notice. I agree with Peter. If you yeah. need it now, get it now. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a valid question, but if I mean, if you need it or <coughs> it's reasonably foreseeable that it's needed, I, I, it's the life safety. But for me, it's more the potential it's just going to fail, and it's going to create a cost a and problem. discomfort for the occupants. And we're, I mean, we're not talking about you know, we're talking about people who are in our island home. Yeah, it's their house. Yeah. yeah, this is a little different than some other places. All right. Well, uh, Brett, thank you for that. Um, we will be scheduling you through finance for our island home facility i imagine we're going to need a bigger room maybe for that one but we'll deal with that when we get to it probably um i think the present i think the presentation is on the 11th so okay so we'll schedule it at, I mean, yeah and we'll, work one i think we're going to start our regular meetings again so maybe we can talk about it then okay great uh but just so you have an understanding of where we're kind of what we're thinking sure uh thank you very much for coming in all right all right great guys we're going to jump uh, oh, actually, Brett, I'm sorry. I just wanted to look. The flooring or no? No, the flooring is already the floor is passed. Right, okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. Okay, great. You're set to go. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks. your time this Thanks, morning. Brett. See you, Brett. <coughs> All right, so we're going to go back to uh, my no, Rory. Yeah. Or Rory's. And we're going to pull up the. Yes. I, did you hear when I said everyone thinks I'm yelling at an old man because your batteries are dead and your hearing aid? I'm literally sitting next to him saying, John, I said this. And he's like, okay, why are you yelling at me? I got some great stories. So, guys, we're going to pull up uh, Juan 21001. I'm just giving you the number because I have various water replacement main replacements. So that's the code is a 21 dash zero zero one. Um, you may have duplicates too. So are we on new water source or a different one? Oh. Uh, hold on a second. Let me go back. It's shot in the dark. It's, it is, are we on the Scott's at one first? Yeah. No. Not. Uh, not do me a favor. Go to. It's fine. Click on the. Are you in the Rory's view? I'm in the Rory group. Yes. I'm okay. On page two, but go back to page one. Uh, click on on the upper left. It says show number of entries. Yeah. Click twenty five. Not sure. Okay. Now then, go down the the code column until you see a wanna comment twenty one dash zero zero one. Got it. That's the one. Because we have duplicates and other stuff in ours that the others don't. I just feel like I know what I'm doing. That's fine. That's scary. Which one are we on again? I'm sorry. It's interesting. Uh, zero. <laughs> this one. So we got the water main bid under supplemental documents also. 
Okay, so uh, with that, Mark, we're going to pass it right off to you. Thanks for coming this morning. Yeah. Thanks for having us here this morning. Anytime. And, any and, and, uh, and our regular meetings here. Yeah. So this project is for the Washington Street, Washington Street extension, uh, and a little bit of South Water Street. <clears throat> that pipe is old uh, asbestos lined, asbestos cement pipe. Uh, because it's that, we have to keep it flowing. If you go down past Charlie Sales House into the marsh, we've got a tap with a water meter on it, and we're flowing water into the marsh continually. We have to sample that for tetrachloroethylene, which is part of AC piping, to make sure that it's clean. If we don't, if we don't have that continual flow through it, um, you have a tendency to get that in there. That VOC kind of comes out of out of the pipe. Um, the integrity of the pipe is fine, but we're we're pumping water into the into the marsh nonstop. Uh, we have a little bit of this AC pipe left in different areas, and I know, speaking with David and the sewer department, also with some of the work that's going to go on on that corner, where they're going to be digging up the road and doing some drainage. Moving the fire hydrant. Moving the fire hydrant. We figured if that all is going to be going around at this time, this is when we would yeah. go ahead and attack this mm -hmm. this part of the system. Now that I mean, d dual services at the same time it just or more makes perfect sense yeah. um, but digging into some of the details uh, I guess uh, questions where do you find that pack I'm on like where it's just you know, the introduction where do you press the go to supplemental documents and you oh all right so what we use to come up with a number is that spreadsheet okay. that's great spreadsheet by the way yeah phenomenal yeah, we try to break well, it down by every every single item we can to get an actual per foot all said and done, paved, and ready to roll. Um, what about, so the sewer has been done on Washington. That was the first one. The, you know, the, the yeah. phase, yeah. whatever, that went out to the rotary. Right. It, 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 the rotary Dave, David was feet. talking, I think, Washington Street Extension, he might have a few issues. Uh, and again, we're still waiting for the CMOM program to be done and David to find his critical areas to go. And obviously we will go <coughs> with him wherever yeah. that is, if that means away from Washington Street in this year. Yeah. If he comes back and they say, hey, we've got to go to Union and Orange, I've already talked to the commission. We would still ask for this one million, a little over one million on here. And whatever other project we did, if we had to move to a bigger project, we would use our retained earnings to cover the one, one and a half, or two million over if we had to move to, say, Orange Street, which is a much bigger, much bigger project. Mm -hmm. um, how much of this asbestos, I hate to even use that word, how, how much of that is in the street still? Uh, I would say maybe five or six percent of all of our pipe. It's, it's dwindling down. We're taking it out. In the core time. or outer core, not in, out of town? Not out of town. It's all that. inside. So yeah. North Liberty Street, we're going to get rid of some. Yeah. Uh, when we move, uh, I know De I know David's talking more of you know some issues on Lily and other streets in there that we've already been in, but there's sections where we can remove more mm -hmm. when he does go in. Uh, our goal is to get rid of all of it. Again, as long as we keep it flowing, it's safe. But it's just where are other are there other parts of the island that you're pumping water into the like the storm drain just to keep uh, it over? <coughs> in or is Mattica, there enough year-round houses that you don't have to do it? In Madikit, we do in the winter time. Uh, we have a blow off. Stagnant. Yeah, because there's just not enough flow out there. There's enough. There are year rounders, so we got to keep it going. But uh, how is there an asbestos pipe in that? Would there's not. But oh. We just. Uh, oh. We have another blow off. <laughs> oh my to keep the water moving. No. No. The the only real, the only okay. real issue, the only real blow off with asbestos pipe in town is at what? Charlie's okay. house. Okay. I got okay. it. Okay. Uh, the rest has enough flow to keep it. And that's okay. due to the nature of the material of the pipe. Yeah, you just can't let the water sit. It in the 60s, yeah. and they, they put it in everywhere, and then come to find out it wasn't, wasn't the best thing to do. And what would you say, uh, Mark, roughly, your gallonage is that goes back into, that goes into the harbor? Do you have uh, any idea? Yeah, no, we meter it. It's, it's probably... I mean, I figured you'd know, but not, it's, maybe no, it's not no like sitting No, it's like 500 gallons a day. It's a light trickle. Yeah. Oh. Um, it's not, I don't have the thing wide oh, open. Oh, okay. I, I was, mean, I, 
Yeah, I've never heard of this. Right, but if you walk right into the cattails past Charlie's back door, yeah, you'll see they're all kind of beaten down, and you'll you'll see our copper pipe sticking out, and the water's just kind of. But on an annual basis, it's just oh no, it adds up, and I have to I report that to DEP. Right. Um, you know, when it, it gets reported, obviously, they don't like it. The regulators yeah, don't sure, like blow sure. uh, So that was on our that was on our plan for that year. Uh, again, our plan may change depending on what David runs into with his. He's going to be mandated to go to certain areas, and obviously, our plan can change to go with him. And if that is the case, we wouldn't ask for any more money. We would go to our retained earnings to cover any additional move yeah. that we did. And then can you just speak briefly to your bid process, what the timeline was, These were, this went out X yep. amount of time ago, you got replies, stuff like that? We did, it was uh, about a three month process to get it all back. Um, we worked with this table, this, this spreadsheet, I had actually six or seven other companies in this spreadsheet, but they were so high with their Nantucket factor, it was like 110%. So I just I just left the two that have been doing the majority of the work. They've been you know Robert Auer and yeah, CC. Right. They're here. Yeah. No, they're not going I'm anywhere. Taking the words out of my mouth. They're now. they're they're, they're so might as well. Auer has changed the island though. Yes. They've changed the island. Yes. Uh, and it was you know it was a competitive price. Uh, I, we called both and met with both to make sure these were their real numbers and uh, they were. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say that's going to change though. With the cape doing all it, it needs to do with its underground. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's going to jack their prices up. So they're going to want to stay closer to home. Shortly right? after Cooney got this, CC Construction, they got the big Falmouth job. Yeah. So if it's he would continue if, in the next couple of years when we're bidding, his number is going to be, he's going to be occupied over there. He's yeah. got like eight miles of big pipe to do. Uh, that'll open the door probably for Robert Hour to, to continue to get a lot of bids. And unless he gets busier over there. Unless he gets busier. Yeah. Uh, I know Bordelotti and a few other companies that were in the, yeah. the Phase 1, Phase 2, B downtown, yeah. uh, they did bid. They were probably 1.3 or 4 million over uh, Robert Auer. Well, Auer figured out the, the logistics faster than anyone else, I, I think. Yeah. You know? yeah. Cooney now has purchased a home, put up a home, bought, he, he traded land. He's here. At, he's uh, here. The Richmond property is that for for labor. Yeah. Uh, he's got a home, so he's yeah. they're here. Uh, Jason, you had a comment or a question? Yeah. If this if this was done, does it lower any operational maintenance costs? Is there anything yeah. to do annually? You're always checking it or fixing it. Or? Uh, we have to read it and maintain that meter, and then we have to sample it four times a year. The samples are about 150 bucks a time. Uh, it's not a huge huge expense. It's more of our product just pumping out to right. nothing. So it would, I'm just looking at Roy, it would reduce energy consumption, right? If you think yeah. of... It, it's like having a small leak. Yeah. yeah, relative to the big picture. It's a lot of gallons, gallons in of itself, but yes. relative to our overall, it's right. trivial. Okay. Richard and then Peter. Sorry to be so uh, stupid about this, mm -hmm. but when I click on supplemental documents, yeah. I see the bid for four million whatever, right? It's a split bid with sewer and then water. Okay, so what is the number that water is asking for? Water is asking for one 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 million one hundred and four thousand. Okay. And I see that over on. The, I believe. Uh, yeah. Cost yeah. and funding. Yes. Cost yep. and funding has that number. Okay. Where is I that get it. Let's post it out. I don't know why. Uh, That's the one one zero four. And we have finished our uh, retained earnings policy passed by the commission, and it's a line item in the budget now to, to maintain uh, where we'll be able to use use it for capital. It's 1% uh, of our overall plant cost, everything Wanacomet owns, 1% of that. 15% uh, of our debt service every year mm -hmm. is factored in, and 2% of the next year's anticipated budget. And that's where we come up with our numbers. So that number can adjust as our debt moves and as our budgets move. I mean, we all know at some point, Wanacom, it's not going to get $400,000 a year in new service connections. I mean, at some mm -hmm. point, we're going to slow down. So yeah, that was a good conversation okay. last night. We want, we've, we've set it up so it can move with our, with our needs. And right now, it's, it fits into the rate structure to where we don't have to adjust the rate. We have a rate study finished. 
Uh, I still got to get a copy of Brian. They're, they're telling us we got to up the rate right now. Uh, we're not going to up the rate right now. We're, we're able to. to Who's selling you to get up the rate? The rate study. Oh, okay. Just so I was clear in my understanding. The rate study suggests a substantial rate hike. Uh, Who, where do they come from? GZA. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, the problem. Uh, and they, they look at it and, and they part just of the think reason. It's a free gig here. Part of the reason I, I had an issue with, and I had discussions with, with Tom Sexton from GZA, uh, they're an engineering firm. You know, they want to generate. If they know you increase your rate, you have more money, you can do more work. Oh, it's yeah. like a catch-22 yeah. thing. It, it, it's hard to find an honest, that there's always a wrinkle to the answer. The fox is guarding the hen house. This is so similar to the steamship stuff. The yeah. better way to handle these things is to go to the voters for the money to pay for something and then leave everything else alone. Because, yeah. and this is something that I've talked to Brian about and a few others in my travels every day, how many homes in this island were built before we had we charged for sewer fees in uh, 2006, right? 2007. Yeah. Somewhere in that area is when we started. 9,000? Yeah. I bet it's like 9,000. So all those houses got a free trip on the boat all their life until this the sewer act. Right. So if you can't ever make up for that, so you have to figure out a different way. In my opinion, is the boat is just like with the sewer. If it was on the rate payers, what would the sewer cost be? The people in Chimo would be out of their oh, yeah. tree because they don't even need it, really. Right. You know what I mean? So I see it as forget about the enterprise account, go beyond it from what your earnings are to keep it. Yeah. Where we're, it's, it's for everybody. Just because you're not hooked up to water doesn't mean we don't need to fix that pipe in Washington Street. Right. It needs to be fixed. I don't care where you live. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I think it's the same thing. So that's my opinion. Okay. Um, <clears throat> thank you. Any other questions or comments, Peter? I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, and I might have missed this because I've just been trying to bounce around the website and everything. But so the spreadsheet with the bids shows like four million in cost with a 1.7 allocated to the one of common waters. You guys already clarified. You're asking for 1.1, mm -hmm. and there's no 1.7 on the bid for the sewer or for the waters. Portion. We'll make up difference with retained earnings, and then so anywhere else location, we go. Though. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then. Just maybe this more for um, Stephen, but so going forward, I mean, if, if we're just looking at this first glance, is there supposed to be more information on, I mean, I know it says continue water main replacement program, streets to be determined later, and then you guys have a conversation about Washington Street extension and, and what mm -hmm. you might fix. Would that ever make it into this? Yeah, and I think that's part of the part of what we're, what right, I want to be discussed right now. now is okay. what we want to see from department heads in the information. I mean, I think you make an excellent point. We would like to see in the introduction details um, maybe project summary just more a little bit more yeah power. just i mean it's good for us yeah, it's not well, to pick yeah, on mark yeah. but just no, see, I, ha I have them and i had to put them in there and i even have 22 23 right. and so yeah. yeah but because of we're trying to team up with david now yes you have to and he's gonna more. he's gonna be told where he's gonna That's go i don't know where i'm going in 2021 yeah. or 2022 i i had a plan we had a plan we were gonna follow it he was gonna follow our plan yeah. And then they started doing the camera work and found right. out that different okay, things. Yeah, we've got so, to go. So that we're actually go to places. So, so yeah. Mark's comment actually addresses more of the out year look. I think Peter's comment is more with respect to some specificity in the introduction of what this particular project, and not just your department, but as our discussion as we're using this form, is that it. It's a little different when you're saying ceiling tile replacement, Ireland home versus water main replacement. Yeah. Or if David came in and said sewer main replacement. So just adding some specificity within the notations. Yeah. And we can do that still. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's yeah. not a big deal, but it's just yeah. we're kind of clarifying. Okay. Can, can I just ask a Yeah. Things? Uh, I think yeah, yeah, just, okay. I mean, yeah, just for first, and this is more for uh, Capcom thing, not so much yeah. the, your department. Um, but yeah, I think just for this introduction, you know, like we don't have how much money they're looking for, you know, yeah. there's other details I feel like you kind of have to search around, which we might be able to hopefully build into kind of this introduction yeah. summary thing, which obviously it's a process, so mm -hmm. much sure. just while it's on the top of my head. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, uh, and two, just two quick points. Mark, selling this stuff, mm -hmm. forever pipe. Forever pipe. Gotta say it. Yeah. Don't nobody, and everybody's a, you know. Right. I mean, we're replacing, that. we're replacing this stuff. forever pipe, right. not right. just, oh yeah, 30 year right. life cycle. Right, no, I mean the stuff we're replacing on ridiculous. North Liberty is. You know, and the other thing is Washington Street, truck route, 
Yeah. Prospect. I know. I hate it. We gotta get it, everything done in Washington right. Street. And now I'm gonna bring up the, the big one, end grid. Yeah, I know. Here we go. <laughs> Can't do it. I know. We're gonna put them wires underground around that corner someday. Yeah. Not part of this other th situation. Yeah. So my question to you is, I know you know what's going on, mm -hmm. okay? You're not just doing what you're doing here. Yeah. You know what's going on. I think the plan is technically to put it under the sidewalk. It is. Okay. So that won't affect, because they've already done the stub ins. Yeah. What happens with water stubs, though? Are they lead? Are they copper back in the day? I mean, they were. What are we doing? Yeah, so, so in this, in this. Washington Street. There are Project. there are four lead services that we would See? remove. As Here we, we go. go. Another bad word. I brought it up. Sorry. So, what really drives what really drove our capital plan in the beginning, our <coughs> ten-year plan, was we have 113 lead services left in town. We have zero left in Sconset. Really? Yeah. Sconset um, is hard to do. smaller. There's only 800 really? customers, yeah, man. We could bang yeah. that stuff out. Okay. But here we're down to 113. So we laid out the roads. That we're going to eliminate as many lead services as we could. Uh, so you're going to be going across outside the traveled way in this project. We will go into the sidewalk. If if it is lead in those four locations, we will go outside the traveled way to wherever that meter pit is. And then from the meter of the house, it's up to the homeowner. That's the homeowner. That's, yeah. I mean, we'll tell them that if you yeah. have lead from the meter on. Yeah. Most of them are heavy copper, back in the day stuff. Yeah. There might be some galvanized pipe coming. So there are four on. locations that would, we would get in and probably to the back side of the sidewalk. And what's the depth of this, like three feet or more? Three, right? like three, three, three and a half feet. It's pretty shallow. Back in the day, they didn't have dewatering, so they had low tide when yeah. they could and yeah. stopped. Yeah. yeah. So we've kind of officially trans transitioned into the out years in this discussion. So um, I guess the only comment I would have is, and this is part of our process, is getting your out your information and uh and i hate to say however tentative it may be mm -hmm. your information is not really tentative so much <laughs> as it is that it may be re-prioritized right. with respect to the cmon yeah. but um we need to get i mean this is a comment for for you all to know that it's being thought about we need the sip the capital improvement yeah, plan the 10-year plan oh. populated uh, okay. i didn't get into the discussion with Brett, because basically I didn't want his blood pressure to raise because he's kind of facing this obstacle, this almost impossible obstacle of do I spend time planning out all these projects and then the building is going to be, it's not going to be. So I didn't mention it with Brett, but um, now that we're here with water, I wanted to mention that it's got to be done. Well, it is in here, Mr. Chair. I mean, everything that they've given us, we have in. It's all in. I mean, everything. No, no, no. I'm not saying okay. you finance. No, I'm, I'm just saying, saying that everything we have. We need to idea. get. We need to know what, and this is, I'm using yeah. your, yeah. our example, yeah. sorry, Mark. More. We need what to know what you're anticipating your, even 24. if it's placeholder projects, yep. we need to see it in our state. And we have that. I can just. Yeah, yeah, no, and I saw it, and yep. that's why I felt yep. more comfortable kind of mentioning it, yep. using you as the example. Yep. Yeah. I just backed off giving it to Brian because I, you know, if I put in all those streets, I don't want you to think I'm going to go there. And then if we change, I got to switch it all up. No, I mean, so, I mean, I want to give you the broader picture of well, how I'm at least looking at this. And I think the group is, uh, is that ultimately what we want to be doing is making this so efficient. You come in, we've already gotten our stuff online. We've reviewed it. You don't have to do a presentation. We ask you questions if we have any, and then we move forward to the out years. Yeah. We review the out years. We get to the point where over successive budget review cycles, you're just telling us if something changed yep. and what it is. And we're in and out the door, but we've built up a body of knowledge as an institutional body that we're not having to kind of regurgitate every time a department head comes in every year what the changes are. We can be, you know, kind of assimilating that into our own body, individual knowledge in the body of, of the group. Now, it's not totally efficient. We need to be able to talk. We need to be able to review things. We're going to forget things, but the idea is to make it more efficient for everyone so that we're not spending just a boatload of time in here talking about stuff that we already talked about. Right. So just so you have the yep. picture of why that's important. Yep. Steve, can I just yeah, say, please. Like, don't lose the fact that this is different now. They're working with sewer. No, we're no, trying to time everything. Yeah. 
Like, I don't care how much effort that takes, because that's where the, the community sees that issue. If, if, if you can say we're doing the same thing at the same time, and there's all these issues, and it's taking longer to get it done, but it's getting done at one time, that the, the sacrifice is a lot better. You see what I'm getting at? I totally. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just happy yeah. that there's a that there's a connection between sewer and water yeah, to get no get things done simultaneously. But the other stuff, I don't know what the answer is with the power. I I don't know how that could work. Putting in conduit things at the same time. It's it's that that's the one that like really has to happen. And it's the hardest thing. Yeah. You know, how do you bid that? How does that go in? How does that work? So we would, would have to be just. To I've actually talked. Conduit. I've actually talked to to Cooney and Robert Hour about both this project and asked them. So say if we've got National Grid spec on, we have the spec on the conduit bank they want. Say See we that? build it. He knows what's going on. If we build it, they will come and use it. Put, yeah. put the thing in. Uh, they weren't able to get me the, an estimated number back in time for this meeting, but I have asked for that, and they are going to get me that. Uh, I'm guessing it's not going to be real cheap. Uh, it's one time. But it is one time, so they could yep. be in the road doing our water, whatever David needs on Washington Street Extension sewer, and we could go through, get the lead, get all that out, blow up the sidewalk, they put in the conduit bank, throw Washington Street back together, and we're done. So the only added suggestion, and I'm sure you're thinking of it, but we need to get, and I know it's, it's, you need either, even bigger dental tools than working with National Grid, yeah. is the specs from Verizon and from Comcast. So they, they, well, and at least a, a nod that they'll utilize. It, it is. So we talked with them as well, and National Grid has, uh, they're in their conduit bank the way it's designed, it could work. For There's Verizon. ancillary. Yes, it could work where they could be in there too. Okay. Uh, I know there was some talk at a few meetings ago that Verizon would need their own trench. Well, That's after talking to talk. Verizon, yeah. they wouldn't need their own trench. They just say that because they're trying to negotiate a price to use National Grid's trench. Right. They don't like <laughs> this the price This is where we National get into that whole, you know, right. the, so, did we all shop at Stop and Shop whether we like it or not. Right. You've got to put the heads together and forget yeah. about how things are everywhere else. Yeah. This is, if this can happen, it, 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 this will be like you'll be like Jesus. The I'm, only I'm issue, serious. it's and gotta not, work. Not issue, and but the only thing I feel problem. bad for, and it, and, it, and I shouldn't, but, but the rate payer of Wanna Comet and the rate payer for sewer is gonna front some the conduit bank. Else. Yeah, yeah. And I know it's the benefit of the island, and it's all for one, and and I have no problem doing that. Yeah. I could just see a few of our customers saying why. You know, oh, why did you is there a way that? to get a reimbursement? I don't know. Got I, I didn't ask. I no. just figured if we we're going to rip up that road, we might as well put in the conduit bank. So yeah, but ask for the that's a, I mean, I think that's a critical point, and it's right, one we, yeah. sh we shouldn't lose sight of, and it may not come before us directly until this type of project comes up. But uh, just keep in mind, obviously, if National Grid does it, that's distributed over ratepayers across the Commonwealth, whereas if sewer and and water do it it's picked up by the nantucket ratepayer so the, i mean that's a i mean it, and it may be over distributed amount is it the end of the world probably not but it's a big difference and that's money that might be better spent out of the rates for other upgrades and improvements that are required yeah. but i just suggest so well we may be looking at the future coming of yeah. jesus in the solution by getting it done we still need to be cognizant of the costs and I'm not saying that it's a sidewalk. I'm not Rebuild saying it's a killer, it. but I'm saying we need. I suggest we need Hillary to be ready for it. All the stuff going on right now. Are you kidding me? I, believe me, I know now. <laughs> it's I, you know, like, insane. And I and I don't disagree with the with the goal. I just I'm just suggesting that we need to be cognizant of the fact that yeah, okay. those costs can be distributed out. And it may be as simple as a negotiation with National Grid. It could be. We have money. That they wouldn't bring more some stuff. of this stuff too. I just don't yeah. know what. It well, fits. for the sewer and the no, water, this, but not the wire conduit. stuff. There's some yeah. stuff, but it wasn't this spot. But, but uh, I know David and I have talked a lot about, and when we find out where his plan is, and when we find out which path we're going to come out of town with sewer yeah. replacements, and we're going to 
our goal is whenever we open a street and go together, if that conduit bank needs to be in that road, that that would be part of the project. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I just I just urge you to you're at the front line, and at, if you I'm not suggesting you can bury the hatchet on it, but uh, at least be the tip of the spear in getting that discussion started where they're aware that the town may be or is working to yeah. have them reimburse some portion. And it's not unreasonable. I mean, no, they, no, they would be pay, spending the I, money I've anyways. I've talked with Fabio, their engineer, yeah. the National Grid engineer, extensively on getting the spec of the, of the conduit bank, yeah. you know, the sizes. and <clears throat> That 14-foot thing's crazy. That, yeah. That's Pete, insane. Peter and then Jason. <laughs> In the last couple of years, Mark, no, this is I'm just going to do the rules. Maybe a tail wag of a dog or a dog wag of a tail question. Mm -hmm. Have we experienced any change in working with any of the outsourced utility companies, Verizon, Comcast, Angrid, um, working with us? Has there been any change in that? Have they been National easier grid, to work with? Or less? National Grid, I would say, Peter, in the last two or three years is actually getting more responsive. Okay. Um, Verizon and those guys. Forget it. There's no response. There's no emails back. I've left countless phone calls, emails. National Grid, at least, I'm kind of building a relationship with Fabio. Uh, he gets back to me right away. You know, hey, so send me the spec and the design of your trench and your box, yeah. what we got to put in. And he does, and talk to him about, he would talk to his bosses about, you know, maybe we kick in, National Grid kicks in a couple million bucks to help get that thing in. Because uh, it's a benefit to them too, um, but Verizon and those guys is just and it's not the guys here. The crews here are great. It's, caught, it's unions. It's it's, it's they just they won't they won't they won't help us. At well, all. and it's having an island facilitator too to some extent. Somebody who's local yeah. who lives here, like when Rob, I think his last name was over. Have you talked to Peter? A little bit, yeah. And it, and it and it all marching orders above him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So somebody above him. Even though he would gladly come help and do what we got to do, and it's always a marching order above him, yeah. and it's tough because National Grid says, "Well, we don't own 30 uh, percent of these poles are owned yeah. by Verizon, and 10 percent right. are owned by whoever." And Push it, it is just a real, yeah. it's a shit show. It's like a paper it's road thing. It's stuff from 100 years yeah. ago, Bell Telephone, all this yeah. stuff. Yeah. But National Grid down. has the been a lot better okay. recently. Once. Oh. Or Sorry to make it take longer, but this is really important, and it affects yeah. elected people oh, I know. about stuff like yeah. this. You guys don't have to worry about not getting no. elected to go to work tomorrow. No, I know. This so, stuff is a big deal. No, it is. And I, I, before we close this out, I just want to say I think it's important for all to understand and keep in mind in future discussions, with, in particular with respect to the L.A. I mean, National Grid came to town through the process that we approved funding for, discussions were had, a number, I think it was like 5.2 million came off that they were willing to spend to underground utilities. Yeah. The overground is say 2 million, I think from the discussions I heard. There's a difference of $3.2 million that I, I for one, and I think I can speak you know, for all of us, don't wanna see go, we don't wanna see that 3.2 million go away. It's money they, they mentioned they, that they, stated that they would contribute to the project. So we want to make sure, yeah. and that may be the lead into a partnership type reimbursement along yeah. the solution line that's what that I Mark's to working on. About. Well, that's a, I was kind of getting to, did we lose that from a negotiating standpoint? Why did they, why did Enbridge choose to spend less and go overhead? Well, it went to, I think, I think Peter revolved around the idea that we, they, they were being told they, right or wrong, I don't know, but they were being told by the town consultant they had to go 10 feet yeah. deep. And then that blows the whole thing out of the water because it, they can't go 10 feet deep, they can't dissipate no. the heat, the cost okay, is insane. Yeah. You're not gonna dig up 10 feet deep on a 14 foot wide historic street. All these other things came in and it just became, well, okay, we're just gonna go back to overhead and save $3.2 million or whatever the number is. Um, but this isn't because of the feed. This is they just can. the stuff that's there. The feed is gonna go in a different direction. This is just I'm the using, stuff that's already here. Yeah, I'm just using spot. the feeder as an example. Plus, you got to think about... It's a perfect example. And again, here we go, yeah. but I'm going to have to say it now because you're bringing it up. <laughs> this street's going to be bike-friendly. The, the land bank has got the land against the water. It's all going to fluff up at some point on that side, Mark. But the side you're working on yeah. is 
hopefully it can be a one shot deal it with can the, be done. and be done. At least to the point of your project. Right. On the west side. Yeah. It's on the west side. Yeah. No. Good so point. It's all true. It's you know? true. It's a good point. Something that's gonna be happening and uh, we're all it's just nice to know that we're you all, water and sewer, are working together towards yeah. it. I think the CMOM is gonna help give us better direction to the extent you can get your work to dovetail because you're gonna have your own priorities. Yeah. We trust that you're going to be doing that, and we'll be seeing it in out years. Yeah. Um, having said that, are there any more questions for Mark before we wrap up this session, this portion of the session? No, it's already saved. Okay. Got it work. Done. Mark, thanks for your time this morning. We really appreciate the detail. Yeah. All right, guys. We have nothing for Sconset, so. So that's off. Wow. We're no, still waiting. We have it on, but. Oh. That's for okay. 20. I actually, I'm only going I'm to sorry. advance projects for 21 and not advance anything else. That'll be yeah, the we'll just see them in our... You'll only yeah. see 21 and you'll see anything else in the set. Right. Yep. That'll be the easiest way but to take instead of confusing everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I so. will leave you with the power issues. I know it goes back to L.A. <clears throat> it's killing our equipment in Sconset. Killing oh, it. low voltage. Yes, we need our yeah, we yeah, need yeah. our three phase. I lose a phase, I'm blowing equipment. I'm yeah. out there. So you don't have an inverter? Can you explain that layman's terms? So, I know. Well, we have 480 volts coming in, yes. So, we don't have enough power on the east side of the island. David Gray ran the wastewater plant in Sconset on a generator. Huh. Last year, I ran the water plant on a generator. Uh, this year, we've been out twice. Uh, the first time was in July. Lack of power, the power dropped so much, ACs come on, whatever. Not enough electricity going into my pump station. The control wow. box, which is called the Motor Control Center, MCC, that runs the pump in the SCADA, that runs everything, yeah. components start to blow apart. First the fuses will go, and then the power starts fluctuating again, and other components go, and then my whole pump system's down. Because there's not enough power coming because in? Because there's not heard enough power. Right, so, yeah. so there, those systems are designed with a useful life. We just think this is the rich it. people screwing us all up. No. Those systems are designed, the equipment and components are designed to work on a particular phase and voltage and amper with maximum amperage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they're not getting it, it they're wearing more quickly no, I, or so just busting up. We've set a camera up on our voltage meters and uh, we've been filming it just to show National Grid because every time that happens and my pump dies like that, I'm taking years off that pump. Yeah. I've already told National Grid, I think you need to buy me a pump. Yeah. Whoa. Well, I think that this yeah. is a negotiation. How do they feel about that? They, you know what? They, they were not that opposed to it. Yeah, this is a negotiation point, though, yeah, I'm right. sure you're using with respect yeah. to the other, all this and, undergrounding and... And we, you know, luckily we have an electrician on staff now, so we can we can attack that stuff right away and get it back up and running. But so that's a great example of where we'll see an out year request yeah. for pump replacement for Sconset. Right. So because every time that shuts off, it's supposed to be a ramp down to save that pump life, and when you just kill it and it stops, mm. I mean the pump manufacturer will tell you that happens a few times. There's no no more warranty, no more anything. Yeah, yeah. It can, it takes years of life off a of pump. Think of, think of if you could, and I would suggest you would, you're going down the highway and you just turn your car off at 70 miles an hour at 4,000 And slam RPMs. it in the park. It just, yeah. Yeah. Well, single phase wiring is like letting your car in first gear. You don't have any yeah, yeah, so oh, Three phase yeah. is a five speed transmission. Yeah. Yeah. So you have different hot leads. There's one hot lead on a, on a single phase. That's yeah. why it's called single phase. It, but it's, it's been, and, and just a few weeks ago during our, Pops our Week, it happened again. Our energy bill has gone again. way down since we've gone to three yeah. phases. It's more efficient. The tank it's level got down to eight feet of water in the Sconset tank while wow. we were trying to get it back on. So we were eight feet away from having no, no pressure in Sconset. When uh, was this? Like recently? This, this was Pops Week. It was the latest. Really? Week. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah. so at, at like this 460, is a game when I, I get to like this stuff. when when the amperage gets to like 460 just, from 480 to 460, yeah. I shut off. No, no, my component no, shut no, off. Is that no, because no. of usage or the electricity <laughs> issue? There isn't the enough power. Okay. So I did it again yesterday. Well, yeah, there just isn't enough power. And I when I run the generator, I feel bad. Uh, the woman on the other side of the hedge, on the back side of the tank in Sconset. I mean, they spent like 19 grand for the week. And they hear the big caterpillar diesel. Uh, yeah. oh, I'm, just, I'm like, I. <laughs> if you want water, I got it. It's got to yeah. run. Uh, well, I didn't know. 
But uh, so when we talk about doing the trench, that's all well and good for me. I don't care if there's seventy five foot poles. Yeah. I want more power. And yeah. No, there's a needed perspective, so thank you for mentioning that. Yeah. Uh, and we trust that you have, you're working out solutions for the intern. We are, we are trying. Okay. I mean, that's just as important to me as anything else, so. And the state's pushing more electricity on us. Which is absolutely it's insane. It's true. I mean, the incentives are to get rid of fossil fuels <laughs> yeah. and put in electric, and we don't have a cord. But yeah. that is a topic for another day. Uh, Mark, thank you very you much. It, guys. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Mark, thank you, Mark. so Mark. much. So this yep. is it. Oh, yeah. So we had all these other things. Okay. Uh, we were gonna do a no, just so we're gonna do a review of the Rory's now. If you, if, all right, what do I press? See you, ladies. So you basically Rory's. you want to go back to go back to Rory's <laughs> yeah. at the top right, and then we're gonna start at the beginning with uh, replace ceiling tile. Okay. If you've already saved, if you already did I saved save it, it. It's gone. Okay. I did it. You can pull it up, but you can't change it. Which yes, we need to change. change oh, is that how it works? After you save it, I can't even. Yeah, no, I can't either. Yeah. I'm wondering so if it's Brian it. has it in his, in his office just, already. Done. done. I already saw that there were three Rory's completed on some of them. But we do I need do to be able to make changes, to changes to them. Fine. So is there, but this is the point, and this has come up repeatedly, and I want to make sure that, I don't want to put too fine a point on it, but I want to make sure that we're going through these where people have an opportunity to discuss yeah, well, I'll make that this. Um, and that's why it's important to be able to make changes because if in discussion of the Rory someone provide has information that changes someone's perspective you need to be able to change it um, I, I'm not really sure how uh, we want to walk through these but uh, my first question is, please is ceiling tile in or out I think it's out uh, it's still a capital request as oh, vote on it, but at this it's point it will well, always be it's the, just I, our I mean, recommendation if, if you want my if you would like to take a recommendation, I, would, yeah. I wouldn't do anything with it because I'll bring back your discussion to the town manager right. and ask her that we ask her to reject it and say that you would suggest we find an alternate solution through the budget to do it. Christine, so, Peter, and then I have a comment. Um, I was going to say if it stayed in, I, 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 think it, I think there's been good points on that particular item, and I think if if it, if it goes that way, then uh, basically our discussion on it is null and void. I think it's good to see that this process works. And yeah. So I, I tend to think, leave it in and let us just make the recommendation. That's fine. Yeah. Because it already, it's already gotten through the, the town manager. Uh, I'm with well, you on no, that. Well, no, it hasn't, well. actually. We well, haven't reviewed yeah. every project that's in there yet, so well, okay. it hasn't it, got, it, it got it, to us. It's gotten right. to you, but yeah. she could still conceivably say no to it, but I, but, I will not even... All right, I'm it. just going to cut this short yeah. a little bit because we're in the interest of time. Uh, I want to follow up on that, and then Peter. So, look, I agree with uh, what uh, Christy's saying here, and the other thing is it's just simply filling out a Rory form. We're at that point. Mm -hmm. So if we have a couple quick questions... We can ask them, we can fill out the form, and we've completed our portion of the review to date. If, it, if at a later point in the process, town admin says we're pulling it from your list, we won't put it in the final recommendation review because it didn't actually make it that far. But in the meantime, we I think for the integrity of our process, we finished what we're doing. Uh, Peter? Um, just on the tiles, so was that 90,000, that excluded all the tracking, right? All the, the frame, everything was... Included 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 no. Remember you said it's rusty? Yeah. You can paint it. Just looking through the bid, I didn't like see any money allocated yeah. to that. It was yeah. just allocated yeah. to the tiles. Yeah, it was a whole new project with yeah. stuff. Can we do this? So the 90,000 yeah. was the tiles and the whole yeah. grid. So we'll do start with this one. And then when you brought up the Maya calendar and all that. So that it gets in my calendar. Are you around later today just briefly to the aesthetic tile? What's a good time? And grid. After that, okay. So he suggested just to tie it back. He's just trying. He was just trying. Okay, I'll be right back. You'll be right back. You'll be right back. Be right back. Be, <laughs> he, was, he understood the private sector conversation idea, which is what we basically did. We blew up the public sector way of doing it. Yeah. That's what I saw happen. Okay. And but at the same time, he was very, very understanding of both. Gotcha. Yep. He was just trying to do what he thought was. The yes. way to do it, yeah. in my opinion. But then when we got to the strength, see in a few minutes. That changed the whole. That was a game changer. <laughs> the strength system stuff. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally different approach. I mean, even if, unfortunately, I understand about the black eye pipe. It's only schedule 40. It doesn't take much to get a hole where the threads are because the threads are down to schedule 20. You know, and you probably ran into that, you, down there. And the, as far as what you said about the, in the, in the condition space, there was no such thing as condition space attics until 15 years ago in people's way that things were built. So you got wide, freezing cold right above your head. So the pipes can't be full of water. Yeah, it's got to be know, dry system. That's just how it works. That's how it was. Back in the day. His mechanicals are all there, though. In that space. Are they? We were up there. Okay. Someone right. was up there. So it's semi-conditioned. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, so that's all. I mean, I, I, I don't know what the right thing is what Christy's saying, but it's going to end up being he's going to go to Home Depot and get some tile. And some yeah. Paint. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You know, I think. I'm just, I'm just saying, let's go right. ahead and fill out our form so we're done with it. We've yeah. done our job, and yeah. Yeah. to this point, yeah. and we probably won't be picking up in our final recommendation because it sounds like it's not going to make it. It's there are going to be projects we're reviewing by necessity at this point because the town admin hasn't actually finalized whether to advance it to us. But it was either we started this way or we didn't start meeting until September 15th. And frankly, that wasn't going to happen because it couldn't happen and still make a January deadline, mid-January deadline with a report to the selectmen. Um, yeah. So that's kind of where we were with it. Uh, in any event, uh, any other thoughts on the Rory or questions for the ceiling? Sprinkler. That was a big thumbs up. Got to do it. Yeah. Well, like unfortunately. It. And wait. Or but, I mean, see he, if there's a way to do it quicker, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is he, is he coming back with a way to do it quicker? Or? So Brian just wanted to go find out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big project. That's a off final contract of stuff that nobody here is doing that. Yeah. I mean, that was a good point, and I didn't pick that up. During Robert, the meet. I thought about it. I didn't pick it up in the. I wanted to follow up in the discussion. Rather was. It's capital request, but. Is there a way to fast track it? Uh, because if it's you mean a budget way, well, if it's worth Existing doing, it's funding. worth doing now because otherwise, the likelihood of a failure and then the problems that are costly just increase over time. So, why wait? Just one of those things. So, uh, I will mention that to Brian this afternoon when, I, when we meet. Thank it's got to be, yeah. Um, if I had a department head that came to me and said we needed it, then I made a decision to say no, that I should be fired. That's easy. That's way my life. Welcome to Capcom, Pia. Where have you been? <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Feet's back. I'd rather, Feet is I'd back. rather talk about how we change our government than we get some things done. But yeah. That's the vice Brutal. Before we get into uh, changing Money our government, I'm not even going to bring it up. Um, you did bring it up. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Thanks. Oh, no. No, no, thanks. No, you. I didn't bring it up. No, no. He I did. Earlier. I, am, I have been bringing it up. I heard you. For contributing. I want to get it on a docket. So we'll <laughs> next time we'll argue. Yeah. You, got, you, got <laughs> put, you got to put an article in for town meeting, Peter. So uh, we're, Thank you. Thank we're you. on to uh, the water mains, yeah. the water yeah. main replacement, yeah. which is the Washington Street extension. Um, thoughts, questions, comments before we're filling out our Rory? I mean, the only thing I have, and I... I already submitted it, but I wanted to ask this when I got off on the end grid thing. I forgot this question. Strategic, and this is for staff kind of too. Strategic plan with the S. We did that last meeting, kind of creating it. It's okay, which be, one is it? Okay, is so it both? Do they have one? I mean, everybody's talking about that now, like it's climate change. So the strategic plan. The I mean, I would say you know what I mean? Technically, for this, yes, because I, I put like 50%. Mark said, he's going to be following the CMOM, which. In That's a strategic, is a strategic plan. plan. Uh, yeah. So I would say for this one, yes, because like Mark said, it's subject to change based on where they're going to go with CMOM. So right. I would say yes, this is, yeah. and it's supporting also Mark's plan of what he's going to do. Yeah. Regardless. Because he's got a, plan, he's so. like the school. He's got a strategic yeah. plan going out the rest of his life. It's just not. We just don't know it yet. It's, it's there. It's uh, in his head. You know what I mean? Because he knows what's out there, but this mm -hmm. stuff with CMOM, they found all that stuff up in Delaney Road, Derry Moore, and and Cliff. That like all the stuff from Matty Jingle, mm -hmm. all going yeah. into the sewer. They've shut it all up. That's what's caused everything to stop. And they're like, oh my God, now we got to do this. So we got to do this. It's, it's 
Scripture. That's what he was referring to, some of that stuff up there, North Liberty. Just to clarify, Scripture. we're talking about the $1.1 million request for yes. fiscal year two. Right, and, and it's so actually going to be a 1.7 request, so that's a procedural thing I'll touch with mm -hmm. Brian on. It should come to us as a 1.7, and then we would be looking <laughs> at the – we would – the – Difference between what's in the SIP now, shown yeah. as 1.14 and 1.7, would be characterized in our recommendation as a separate fund, as a funding source. Where we are making a recommendation on the overall project cost and the overall the overall project, and as an extension of that, the overall cost. So what we would want to see is the 1.7. It's like if it was a grant yeah. for a bike path. Yeah. It costs 2.1, and there's a million dollar grant. We're making a recommendation on the 2.1 subject to a grant of a million dollars or subject to a portion of this being funded from a reserve or retained yeah. earnings or something yeah. like that. So yeah. it, it's just a procedural thing. It's not a big deal. It's just some stuff we got to work through. But we are going to be making a recommendation on the 1.7 okay. or if it changes the so 1. So just whatever. to clarify, at the top of the bid document, yeah. it says North Liberty. It doesn't say Washington Street Extension. That confused. Them. So that's yeah, that, I mean, there are uh, a lot of inconsistencies that with the bid. Is that, I think that's, is that, that, that might have been. The, I I don't quote me on this, but I want to tell you that they have a contract <coughs> out right now for North Liberty Water Mains, so they might have be they may be just using this as, as an umbrella. This title. is the numbers right now that we're working with from our contractors, like per linear foot or whatever it's based on. I haven't looked at it, so that might be why it says North Liberty because they pulled that from another bid because they haven't actually bid out Washington Street. Washington Street. That I might the be, one he was talking about with the two contractors he talked to. Like I said, don't quote me on that because I might be incorrect, but that might be why that that's the most recent numbers that they have. I was hoping Mark was in the other room. We just get well, clarification. And that's why I pulled the 1.7 million that I referenced and right. you know, he was quick to say that any difference between the 1.1 and 1.7. So Unless it's just a Typo. So either it's a holdover from the spreadsheet is a holdover without the title change, or there's an, a, and in either event there's a question mark as to what the actual total is. So we will get clarification yeah. on that. I mean, I would put more credence in the amount that he entered on the funding request. You know, the funding request as yeah, it all the lines it all lines up. So that leads me to believe that this is a typo, but it's still confusing. Well, but the one point seven definitely conflicts with the 1.1 1 .1 that he's actually requesting. But was isn't the 1.14 on the spreadsheet just kind of grayed out a little? Did I not see that? Yeah, it's grayed out. Yes, it's grayed out. But no, there's I mean, it's 1.7 1. down there. Right, but in, if you go to the other document, yeah. it's... Uh, in effects of funding, or cost and funding, <coughs> it's 1.1. 1. 1. Yeah, right. So that's what I asked out. for the clarification. All right, I think as opposed to kind of going back and forth, unless someone wants to just pop into the room and see if Mark's standing there, it would be great we'll to We'll get know. some clarification. I mean, I know we'll get some clarification. And okay, I think with respect to the Rory, um, that so that will be a, a, a dollar number clarification. With respect to the Rory, I think we can fill it out, but I'm glad you brought it up. That's good for this type of discussion. Are there other questions or thoughts on that project? I mean, he... Reference it as you know medium priority, so to speak, medium um, whatever schedule for schedule of things are. I can't pull it up now. Um, you know, it seems like that's kind of underselling it relative to how determined they are to do it. Yeah, yeah. I tend to think Mark is very organized. He he's got everything mapped out. I think, and it's mm -hmm. and yeah. it's it's in. There's a sequence to his. I think his thinking, and although it comes across as maybe moderate or medium yeah. in the scheme of things it's part of his i, I mean, think i it, get the sense that it's it's part of this this big picture yeah i would say it sounds more important to him and he sounds more determined to do it than a medium you know prioritization would put on it but i think his yeah i would suggest his I uh, those. along the lines of what you're asking what chris is saying his medium is like yeah, medium, okay i gotta do it his yeah high, i know i got his high is too. like there's stuff yeah. pouring out over there, yeah. and I got to do it. Right. Whereas right. some there's no water with the power. Yeah, tank. we're different department heads. I think we. So other would people would be pulling the fire alarm on him. It's yeah, a, it's a project. It's under control. That's how I you know. Do it. But yeah, yeah, he he grades his low, medium, and high. If it was a wooden water, different man, than other departments, I'd probably agree. Even with though it wasn't yeah. the asbestos. Right. 
<laughs> right. I mean, required to, you know, continue to operate is a pretty... Then I bring up the lead feet, and I didn't know that that was going I like a 12 of them left. I mean, like, okay. I didn't, he knows exactly what's going yeah. on it's with clean, every single yeah. property almost. It's clean That's up. pretty good. It's important. I mean, so we're fortunate. And the, and the thing is, I have a question. I don't know if you can answer it or they can because Brian ain't here. But when I mentioned tax base versus their retained earnings, is there such a thing as doing that, Rebecca, where you can just say, okay, we, the price is 1.8. I'm just throwing it because he just said 1.7 or whatever we're talking about. But then we may need a million for whatever, other stuff that needs to be done, unknowns. Well, can, so they, can we go, because I don't like this rate pay thing. Well, so that's this what is Mark is saying is that they have built that into their budget going forward so that they are going to have a line that is supplemented by their retained earnings. Versus... They're met, we met go to the voters or something. something. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. We need to, wait. We so need wait, 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 to wait. be able to do it. Let me try and take a stab at this because there's right. a different perspective. Do you understand what I'm asking? I totally understand. Okay. And I want to I ask that you consider a different perspective. All right. What Mark is suggesting is that they will do, they are doing what you're talking about, but they're doing it in-house. Oh, as, okay. As, mm -hmm. as a, as a uh, portion of the ratepayer funding, uh, the ratepayer funds, the revenue yeah. that they're receiving. And I think the reason they're doing that, or certainly the reason well, I would be concerned about splitting it out and, and asking at town meeting for a particular, not have, we run this risk if there's, I wanna say this in a way that is appropriate. It needs to be sold, sold by the sure. finance committee will tell it you. It needs to be sold by sure. I think, I think that, I'm not suggesting it not be sold like sewer, mm -hmm. but you don't, also don't want it to become a political wedge tool so that people are saying, well, if we control the water by getting it voted down, then oh, we control yeah, go right. growth. So yeah, but that's, that's my only concern. But the new connections are all where there's new pipe. Uh, this is the old yeah. stuff where no one ever paid a cent. Yeah. You see what I'm trying to make? It's the same case as going out to Shimo to Make more scallops appear in your on your in your dredge because that's what how it was sold. Yeah. But at the same time, across the rate payers, because the sewer payers would end up paying for shimmo. Like right. think about that. Like that's impossible. You couldn't collect enough money to pay for it. No, I get and it. That's only one project. But the thing is, is that town meeting and the and the and to some extent, well, town meeting controls any of these expenditures and any of that. They have to go I understand they have to with the enterprise accounts too, but I'm just talking about the cons okay. Sewell was easy to, to sell because there's all these other things that you bring in like in other words, the harbor isn't gonna have better scallops if we have the sewer the rate uh, the tax base pay for a big project. Right. I'm looking at the, there's only so much with <coughs> connection fees. The rate per gallon, you know how they do it. I, now that I'm on town water, I see how this all crazy stuff works. 780 cubic feet. Blah, blah, blah. So, so now you've got, I, don't, I just write the check. So, so now um, you, when you look at a water main that's been in the ground for 100 years or 70 years, the streets have to get torn up. All these other things get done. That's a public benefit. I see it differently. I think the rate payers should not have to pay for all this in connection fees with brand new stuff. I mean, there's only a handful. There's not going to be 10,000 more connection fees collected. It's just not going to happen. So you're actually, Peter, did you see what I mean? You're basically, what you're actually saying, and I apologize for The formula for how the confused. sewer ended up is what needs to happen with some of the water. Right. I'm not saying everything. No, but I'm I, saying the big stuff. I just want to see if I can be clear in my I understanding. See which I believe I misunderstood your comments initially. You're saying that improvement projects should not be paid, you're, or you're suggesting that it be considered that improvement projects for water not be necessarily Solely paid by, rate by the ratepayer, but by the taxpayer. Yes. Um, yes. I, on the other hand, am looking at it as a, there's a different separate issue, which is fundamentally interesting because when you go to town meeting, you can be a taxpayer, but not a ratepayer, and you're voting for ratepayers to have to pay the money. But the, but so there's a fundamental get, disconnect in the opposite the direction. Eight, then we get back to who's really paying 87%. Yeah. 
Bingo. But if I could give it to you in a different way. Right now, when you do pay your bill, if you don't care what you're signing, for every dollar you pay for water, 25 cents of that falls to the bottom line as retained earnings. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah, I believe you. Right. So, you're in theory, you're overpaying for your water by that delta of yeah. 25 yeah. percent because yeah. a balanced budget is revenue of 10 should be offset with expense of 10. So what the finance committee has always been against is you are by creating your retained earnings of 1.7 to 2.5 each and every year at the end of the day we can avoid going to the taxpayer for projects not a problem. We've got a little kitty over here with mm -hmm. retained right. earnings that can do this and avoid the system. Right, who pays for the next water towel? Thinks potentially is broke. Is that the rate? The rate, the rate payers pay the for the water towel. So you're getting screwed by that much money. Your bill should be lower. And our my point is, from a finance committee standpoint, is lower the rates, balance your budget, and go like everyone else does to the town meeting, whether you like it or not, to get projects done. So you're state, agreeing with me in a different way, but kind but of. That's I can't that's follow you 100, percent but it sounded like it's okay. Again. But <laughs> most of the people in the town can't follow that. But, that's but, why but, that's why we continue to pay. Yeah, what Peter but, said is what you're saying. Guys, you're, yeah, yeah you're on help. the same page. Okay. We're My saying the same. Seconds, you guys are saying the same thing in a different way. You're close enough to my phone. Let me give you an example of something. I listened to Peter Cadbury last night, or whatever his name is. No, right, whatever. His father's Peter, right? So I listened to him last night. I watched that meeting last night, and I was like, okay, I know, the water, I, I know what the rents are, okay? I, I know what the, 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 the way the, they're charging, some of the rent is insanity. But what I'm getting at is, there's less planes. Less, you know, the fast, the airport's on straight walk. I'm on record saying that a hundred times now. And it's just how it is. We never knew it was coming. No strategic plan was ever going to see that. Right tomorrow, they didn't see it, okay? But... With all those emplanements and less fees and less fuel sold or whatever it is, revenue, they're just jacking up the rent or jacking up something else because they're not going to the taxpayers. Now, I'm not saying they should. I didn't say that. I'm just talking to you as a trying to come up with some other way. How many houses? This is my new thing, Steve. I'm going to find out. How many houses on this island were hooked to sewer and water before the sewer act thing, whatever. It's got to be like eighty five hundred or uh, nine thousand units. Say it's nine thousand. Then what are you? What are you? So those saying? nine thousand never paid a landing fee. They never paid a a flush fee. They never paid a hookup fee. They never paid for a curb stop fee. They didn't pay anything. So. I understand about jacking up the rates to pay, but those, but the new people like me right. that have written checks for this stuff is nuts. Not only have they written them, they've written them in places they really shouldn't have. I know a couple of houses that paid for two that they should have only had one. Tatch building but with one yeah. sink yeah. is paying another five grand for yeah. another meter. It's crazy. So what I'm getting at is there's a there's an element not as big as sewer. No, I get because so. sewer, you get into all the water but, quality. But that, I get that. But, but with what water, end, big you? projects, like stuff that's huge, wastewater, right. there's no wastewater fee. I, I mean, not wastewater, stormwater, excuse me. <coughs> stormwater fee, pay, everybody's paying it. I'm but just saying, no, that's no, not paid just, by who's paying for storm, storm I'm just water trying to understand. I'm just trying to understand. Is where it the taxpayer or the water company? I'm trying to understand where you're going with that. Storm are you water is the taxpayer. Are you See what I mean? Are you suggesting... So I could make the case that that guy's house <laughs> that's there. flooded isn't my problem. I'm going to go to See what I mean? I'm gonna go no, to I'm just saying... I'm going to go to NPD and e EDC meeting. I want I'm you I'm going to give you some of this. You, I already told you I want you to be as a full member. The question I, I'm asking <laughs> is where... I understand your point, but where are you... Like, what are you trying to accomplish with it? I don't... I'm like, just, are you suggesting that like there would be a source of some that? sort? I'm so trying to say that jacking up... The people that just started paying in 2006 isn't the answer to no, everything. No, but, but that's what I'm asking you. And I'm not, you know what I'm I mean? not trying to give you a... a that's I'm not, all I'm saying. I'm not giving you a grief on that. I'm just trying to understand. Are you suggesting that those people who didn't pay anything in advance at prior, because yeah. it wasn't in place that they do, be there would be some method that they would have to contribute 
more of a fair share relative that's to what you're saying. That's a different question. I haven't said that yet, but I okay, well, I'm just trying to figure that's out what another you, one. You, I don't know you how impl- you would do You implied that. it. You implied I, it. I kind of was, but I was more saying... So your suggestion would be for a lot of these enterprise fund projects then have that go on Break the tax base rather than them. being if it's funded. The threshold, funded. like say it's six I see million. What you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah. Try yeah. to come up with, you know, yeah. how do you break it up to where, okay, we're tying in this stuff, we're trying to do this at the same time, we're trying to do this at the same time. He's spending not money. So you just want a more even distribution of who's paying for all of this. Because the public benefit, Ultimately. Because the public, well, we're the ripping the street up and we're yeah. fixing three things at once, which is everybody wants that. I'm just telling you right now, the drive to do things efficiently here is is boiling. Like Peter just said about fixing government. This national grid thing, it may be impossible, but most of the people don't know that it is, and they want it done. And I understand, and Steve understands this wholeheartedly, is what I'm talking about now. There's got to be a way to, instead of it all falling on one project, right because right. they happen to be the reason the street's getting opened up, yep. then it's got to be a way to do it in a, in a broader te- context. Gotcha. It's almost like we need a fund for this, like the real estate account that just vanished. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm talking about all these different funds. But, but just so you you're, know, and I know you're aware of this. I don't know how to, what I, the answer is. I no, just no, understand I get how it has to tr- somehow work, flush out. I, I get your point, and it's well taken. I think the discussion that's going to ensue, though, is going to go to... Okay, let's say that everyone agrees in principle that it should be a distributed payment, so it's not all on the shoulders of a particular project or a particular ratepayer, sewer, or mm-hmm. water. The next discussion then is, well, who pays for it? And then you get into a discussion of what really is even. Is it even for as a taxpayer? A tertiary to, dwelling minute, pays the minute. same as a primary that can have 10 bedrooms right hear now. Me out. So if you is tell it, me what fair is. Hear me out. Is it even <laughs> for a taxpayer to pay for service improvements to the water system that benefits a rate payer, but not that tax payer because they're on sewer and well, or not. So all I'm saying is I'm giving you a specific example where it gets into a much deeper, broader discussion that it will hit the floor of town meeting eventually, and it's I envision it's going to be a very long town meeting when that does. That's all. We did it in I'm not saying it's not worth addressing. We, the, when we... The, when the when the motion was made, I believe to make the sewer go across the taxpayers, it happened in two seconds. Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. And I'm going to hang up after this. <laughs> I want the phone. The voters here know who's paying, but they yeah. it depends on what issue it is. We don't call the school. Didn't call it. Forty six million never called. Think about that. Like. We know, the voters know. <laughs> they just don't want to tell you that they know. Yeah. But they know they're not really paying. They just get all, you know, what are we doing this for? What's this pickup truck for? They re- they're they more <laughs> concerned with a pickup truck for a DPW employee than they are at the, the $46 million for the school. And I'm not wrong I, about I, that. I'm not suggesting you are. <laughs> it's just so, um, I'm <laughs> saying there's a way to get this to work because we need this stuff fixed. Yeah. I can't believe what he said earlier. Like, I mean, there's all these different things that they got to fix, and yeah. then they're finding all the stormwater stuff up in the, that was the edge of town, you know, oh, yeah. up there, North our, Liberty Street. <laughs> and they're finding it, it was all just tied into the, to the sewer system. All that water up there. That's what, that's what they're talking about, just so you know. Yeah. It, it just they needs... They just disconnected it and flooded a couple people's yards oh. <laughs> because oh. they've cut it off. <laughs> now it's got to get fixed for everyone by who's... It isn't two people paying for it. It's the town. Yeah. You see what I mean? Like Hollywood Avenue. They were complaining last night. It but, was brought up at the meeting about flooding Hollywood Ave. But, Who's going to pay for that? Okay. Hollywood Ave? We've invested about <laughs> half an hour into this yeah, discussion. I know. And, no, no, no. Listen to me. You're, don't presuppose what I'm going to say. This is an important topic. This is a topic that is, that is being discussed by different committees. It's true. At different levels for yeah. different reasons. If you and we think that it's enough of a topic to advance in a more formal way, then I would suggest we put it on our agenda for another meeting when it's a slower yeah. meeting, and we actually talk about how, what that might look like. What I'm talking about is what a more formal discussion would look like, who would be involved, and then we would actually determine whether we all agree and make a recommendation so that it actually goes somewhere. 
Yeah, I understand. It's sort of like the hidden infrastructure discussion versus the potholes. Yeah. You know what I mean? The potholes are easy to talk about because you're driving through them, but you don't think about the asbestos pipe on Washington Street when you're driving down there every day 25 times. No, you see I, what I mean? I get you. I get you. Okay, cool. we're going to move to, um, and not to close you off, I think yeah, it's nope, important it's stuff you brought up. Uh, the green sheet and committee report. So you, we haven't really had everyone here, but uh, so the green sheet, you guys, is basically we've discussed is the concept where Capcom has an opportunity and our uh, liaisons to uh, select board, FinCom, um, have NP and EDC have an opportunity to maybe we Capcom has an opportunity to transmit information it deems relevant back to the liaison's respective public body. And the green sheet gives the uh, respective liaison a little simpler way to report back. Uh, it's not you go to a meeting, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. They Maybe they do or they don't get to committee reports. And if they do, there's maybe not a topic, a particular topic on your mind that would be Capcom has deemed relevant or worthy of maybe reporting back on. So the idea was that we would give that process a little bit of structure, uh, intentionally so. Um, it's not a report to any of the respective bodies to indicate we're looking for feedback, we're looking for approval, we're looking for action. It's just a simple transfer of information to make sure that we've, as, a, as this public body has, um, transmitted information that's re that we deem relevant or timely, uh, or I should say in a timely manner. So um, it may be that there, I'll use, let's use an example, uh, and maybe it's not a good one, but we'll use this discussion. Uh, today we met, you know, Capcom met and discussed the concept of who pays what for what services and how best it's evenly distributed and whether to advance a formal recommendation. I'm not suggesting that's the best way to actually say it in the green sheet. But um, that would be something that I would suggest would be something that if we all felt str uh, strongly enough that that it would be something that eventually should get formalized and discuss a formal discussion should occur, that we would include it in the green sheet. And then the, 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 it, the, the respective liaison can go back and they can just say, oh yeah, so this is what it was. And it can either be included in the, in the respective public bodies uh, packet or not. Um, where did we come out with that? Would, would a green sheet be included? No. We didn't come out. Okay. It, I mean, so, in, in reality, yeah. Steve, okay, I'm being real calm. I slowed down. Yeah. Being quiet. <laughs> Sewer and water are almost married. Can you? It, it, to some level. No, no. You've got the bill comes from here. But I want, I want to ask you to stick to the concept of the green sheet for right now. I, I know. So my that. point is, to, 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 to I'm getting to that, okay. is, is to, I, I just want it to come out right where I'm not saying that everything should be on the tax base. No, no. It's I, not what I mean. Like, David and him, we're pretty lucky to have them. They know what's going no, on. No, no. Let me And so you have a guy like Mark that knows what's the big stuff that's Wait, out there. They that, could find a let way me, to... Let me... Because I think I know where you're yeah, going with this. Yeah. You're, no, I'm saying that an end result of the discussion will be who pays for it. And a p big part of that discussion will be taxpayer rate payer. Yeah. But more to the point, you're talking about that it not fall on the shoulders of a particular project or development. Exactly. Exactly. So, exactly so maybe what the green sheet would say yeah. would be specific about that. It yeah. would say okay. the discussion was about who bears the brunt for improvements to infrastructure. Is it a particular project? Is it uh, a... And, and if not, is it the rate? And if it is, is it the full amount, or does some amount go to an other source of revenue, which could either be ratepayer or taxpayer or both? It's a complicated topic, and the Capcom is considering whether this is a discussion that should be had on a on a more formal basis, on a wider basis. That's all that that would be. It wouldn't be that Nat said it needs to go to the taxpayer because that's not what you yeah, said. Yeah, it is. Right. It, it, it just, it's it's just like. Having an extra two million to put wires on the ground on, you know, seven hundred feet of road. Right. Like, it, it, you know, there has to be some methodology to get that to happen if everything's opened up in the streets blocked with police details. That's right. all I'm saying. Okay, but with respect to the green sheet, what we're yeah. focused on is how do we make things? How do we make other public bodies aware of some of the things we're discussing, 
before it gets to a final recommendation okay. report so that they don't, they may, they're going to have questions, but it, mm -hmm. the idea is to try to precipitate dialogue um, or at least comment on things. I think it's mm -hmm. good. I'm sorry <coughs> the end, so yeah. I think I'll have to, we'll have to pull that little section of oh, that. Cool. I think I actually well, said something very well. concisely for once in the meeting yeah. Yeah. about that little piece that we could forward. Yeah. yeah. Um, so green sheets, we're going to, we're going to start doing those. We might actually do one as a result of this meeting. Uh, yeah. And then uh, I don't have the format in front of me, but it's, it's very simple. Um, and it's just something as a tool and it would get e emailed out to the respective liaison. Um, it's on our agenda, so I wanted to mention it. Committee That's reports. Not the updated one, but, oh, okay. but it's, it's generally. It's a simple form, a list. It tells, you know. This is not the updated one, so don't put it in your archival library. Um, committee reports. Did you, Richard, have anything to report with respect to our island home? Uh, unfortunately, I had to leave after they dropped the big number, the $42 million number on oh. the cost of constructing it in the same location. But um, their next meeting, I think, is soon. OK. I, I have one committee report. Yep, please. In the paper today, you're all going to read something that's not accurate. OK. Sure. So the, uh, that's correct. The what? Not accurate. What is it? The, cap, the, the senior committee has not you know, moved towards the Sherman Commons solution answer as well as the Cassidy property. It, it, it's, it's included in this, <clears throat> I don't know if it's an RFP. It's scope RFP. of something, um, right? We have a request you for, know. Yes, we have a request for qualifications out right you now um, for She's a awesome. consulting firm to do some comprehensive it work essentially to look the at language. the existing facility, yeah. um, what's not there, the needs, um, future potential changes in needs, um, and then also an assessment of yeah. potential other locations. It, it had to be facility. left in because it was part of this original okay. scope of work. Due, um, beginning of September-ish, so we should have somebody on contract okay. um, and, at and, some point. But the way it got written, thank you. Mm -hmm. The way it got written is going to lead you to think we've like dump the Cassidy property. That's not true. It's okay. just it. It's just it's just the way the language is. Still so, said in the article that the Cassidy pro property was the number one. Okay. So I just, just so, wanted you to know. So programmatically, I just wanted. Well, the green sheets is fresh in our minds. I want to ask you a question. Uh, is, is there a member of the finance committee on that group? Yes. And Neither, there's a uh, member of the select board. I love that guy too. By the way, Schaefer. Morrison. No. Schaefer. Sh oh. Schaefer. And there's a yeah. member of the select board. Don's on it. Okay. So then. And you're at, you're also a member of that. I haven't ABC. missed a meeting. I don't know how. So we wouldn't. <laughs> I was going to use that as an example of something we might include in the green sheet. We don't have to because there's other liaisons. It doesn't matter. Okay, that's very useful information. Yeah. Thank you. When I read yeah. it, I'll have an understanding of what's going on. I mean, on. I'm just trying to. You know. No, no, no. It's good to. It's not share. bad. It's just not totally it, accurate. It's information. Misleading. Next Richard. meeting for our island home. Yep. Is yeah. Wednesday, September 11th at 6 p.m. Oh, so that's a okay. So that's Maybe the that's select a board meeting. Oh, hey, I was going to say no unveiling of that phase thing yet. Um, other than what they've yeah what they've done, sounds like a great idea to me. Um, so you have any other thing we can do? Yes. Except fifty million dollars. We uh, I think we may have to reevaluate whether we're going to be doing hour long yeah. meetings. Um, we have them all scheduled from 10 to 12 anyway, I think, you. right? Yeah. So we get to at least have the room. I, I do want to I do want to shoot mm -hmm. to contain our meetings to no more than an hour and a half, um, unless it's necessary. But I mean, our, it's okay. I, this is all good information, and we're all getting our wheels back up, and we're getting going with process and wheels up. Mm -hmm. Some of us uh, wheels turning, I should say. Is there are there any other comments from committee stuff? No. Any comments on good of the order? Are we headed in the right direction? Are we headed in the wrong direction? Are we maybe I headed? Like the, I like the Rory thing online. Yeah. Even though I, I don't know that. what I'm doing, I think I can do it. Oh. I obviously did it. Can't yeah. believe it. First iteration was really good. I think it would be good to be able to go, go back, back and, to it and edit I think them. he's fixing that. Yeah, so, what you said. Ryan, just say that. So one of the so they don't disappear. Out yeah, it's definitely going to happen. Yeah. So okay. one of the things that we're looking at, uh, I would like to have the request form information come up and w along with the title there's a field that tells us what the dollar number is right same on the introduction yeah yeah so mm -hmm. that it's at the top of Key. it's yeah. at the it's at the 
title, dollar number, yep. and it always updates when there's a new project coming up. And then you can flip through the SIP request form. Uh, basically, those were kind of categorized into areas of the SIP request form, and now they're on separate pages. Does anyone feel, I know the way my brain works or doesn't work is it's beneficial to have, I would like to have be able to hit a, a button and print a PDF or get a PDF in the old SIP request form layout. The data is all there. Is that only useful to me or would it be useful to any of you? How hard is it it's for to put that? It's a, just place. a report they need to make, but I, I don't want to put it on a high priority if it's only me. I think that's useful. So well, that's, that's from the, Planet, that's, which is the yeah. old thing right. that we've been using. Um, this software actually does have a recording function that spits out something similar. Um, it's been a little wonky the last couple of days, which is why we didn't have those reports from the software today, but um, it does have that capability. Yes, yeah, right. I, I would, you yeah. would like the super request yes. form? Yeah. And I'll get back to your comment in a second. Would anyone else, is it something that you'd like to be able to... Yeah. I mean, for me, it was that you can pick it up and you can flip, you can print it, you can flip through, and the roar is there on, the, yeah. on your tablet. And yeah. if you want to make notes, you can, it's just, for me, it's, I guess I'm kind of old school. Um, so we got a couple, at least maybe a few people would like that. Um, with respect to those sheets, yeah, uh, we are we are going to be reviewing out years, which we didn't do last year with every department. Um, the tail end of the comment that Rebecca made is uh, that, there, this the software will actually create those out years in Excel report, and those will eventually be accessible to each of us. Mm -hmm. But it will primarily be a PDF, so you can open up on your tablet without any issues. But uh, and that uh, Excel functionality will be useful if you're reviewing a, a a full list of all departments for the year, and then you can kind of format it the way you want to to look at information and sort and so on and so forth. So yes, we're going to have that, and um, the goal that I mentioned to Mark was using him as an example is we need those populated, yeah. Because part of our process is to make this quicker, mm -hmm. and not quicker for the sake of quicker, but sick quicker because we're more efficient and effective. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. Yes. Right. Thank you, everyone. Are we, are we looking at weekly now? From yeah. Here on, um, here on out. Yes. Yeah. We have a meeting scheduled next. Thursday, same time, same place. Um, you will be reviewing with the school um, and the IT department. Um, so we will remind, try to remind Brian to have all that stuff um, pushed through to you guys so you can try to review it. Yeah, and I'm going to ask, I'll actually follow up w with him later today on the push and that uh, I would like to, I mean, I just think it would be beneficial for us, especially as we're getting into more projects and the ideas that we're coming here to ask questions, we've done our homework, is yeah. that we get it on a Friday, or at the very latest on a Monday morning of the week of our meeting. Um, and that's gonna be more difficult now because the system isn't fully operational in some regards and there are there is information that's coming in, but that would be the goal. Uh, Steven, are we still doing liaison stuff? Yeah, we are. Did we not set those? I don't think we ever did. Uh, that's not, that's not, not, not for this year, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we, we did. Same, you you we touched the same? on it briefly last meeting, but I, yeah, I don't, I, it, everybody wasn't uh, here, so I don't Oh, know that's right. Everyone wasn't here. So, so let me ask this. Yeah, is I don't there, know everyone's here either. Is there any, well, Jason, but I can text him. Yeah. Is there anyone who would like to be a, a liaison for a different department, or are you good with the department your department you're with? Basically, what I'm asking is, do I have to change assignments or not. So you're saying I'm content. if I'm on DPW, yeah, even though it wasn't a project yeah. now, I'm still the kind of that I one of those continuity. people. Yeah. I don't mind that. Yeah. Okay. That's, so I don't so, want to be on anything else. So I will provide the information to Brian on the uh, finance on the liaison so that we can get department heads aware that we would like to be talking with them. Yeah. Now the school is going to be a difficult one because we're going to be next week. Um, but the reason, is there's, there's always going to be questions coming out of a meeting, though, too. Yeah, well, just good on the back end. Wise, for, like, Peter, or Richard, were you mm -hmm. school, too? So dip between now and then to actually set up a meeting through official channels is going to be a little pressed. So if it's okay with you guys, I'd suggest that we'll do that, but we'll do it for uh, post-review. That's fine. 
and then you will be able to supplement our understandings for the final review of the Roy's and recommendation. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're not sure. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the same with myself and Mark. Oh, yeah. Yes, you know, exactly. So. Exactly. So you'll meet with Mark, and I think I'm on water. We could, maybe I'm not, but we could do a post review with him. I, I'd be interested in seeing some of this stuff if I am. Okay, great. So to make it official, date in the next meeting is, is next Thursday, the 29th, 10 a.m. here at Want to Comment. And uh, with that, I'd like to uh, thank everybody and get a motion to adjourn. So moved. Excellent. Take care. Thanks, guys. Thank you.